right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello, you guys. Today is Thursday, technically, yes. But so what? Well, listen up. I'll t I'll tell you so what. That means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day, which means right now it's Mother Truckin' 9 a.m. in California. And if I'm being honest, I'm moving just a little bit slow this morning. I didn't think this early morning stream would affect me at all. Usually I'm a swing shift kind of guy. My streams come on in the late afternoon, evening time, so I can spend all day sort of gearing up and ready to go and, and then we stream at night. I'm not used to getting out of bed and just hit the ground running, <laughs> you know, so it's a little disorienting for me, but that's fine. You know what? That doesn't even matter because that means it's mother truck in 5 PM right now, British standard time, UK. So what up? Yo, yo, to all my UK vape fam. I get, uh, inundated constantly with uh, messages and comments. And, and I even have patrons that are in the UK time and they're all replay crew. They're all replay crew. Everybody in the UK is a replay crew. And I have been wanting to do a UK friendly time slot vlog for a, a long time now, but it was just a matter of convincing myself to get up early and be able to stream at 9 a.m. in California time. Well, turns out to, turns out today is that day. And this isn't going to be, I just want to clarify the only thing that's UK about this besides the very random liquid tasting is the time slot. This isn't going to be like a UK themed vlog. Okay. I'm not, not everything's going to be UK based. I'm not going to have UK bumpers and UK music and things like that. Cause that's just weird. I feel like that's not what a British subscriber would want to watch like, Oh, Grim streaming. I, I can watch it now. Oh, it's all British themed. I feel like that <laughs> Lloyd, can you back me up here? I feel like we don't need a UK themed. Should I try a British accent? The whole stream coffee. No, I'm not going to do that. But, uh, let me, let me do a real quick rundown for you guys. For anybody watching on the replay hashtag replay crew squad team. That's it. That's the new one. You guys, that's what we're changing. <laughs> that's what we're changing it to replays squad crew team. All the timestamps are going to be the first pinned comment eventually underneath this video. It's early in the morning. Jeremy V is not quite up and at it yet, but we're going to get those timestamps under there. I trust Jeremy V implicitly and those timestamps will be there. But let me do a real quick rundown for you guys as far as what's going to be happening tonight on this here vlog stream. Uh, of course, I have a beer. <laughs> of course I have a beer. Of course I have what a uh, few things that I've been vaping. I don't have my coldest water bottle, uh, water bottle tonight. It's gross and needs to be cleaned. I think I've had it for over a year now and I think I've only cleaned it t two or three times and it was getting cruddy and gross. Like even I was like kind of grossed out by it. So no coldest water bottle, but that's okay. Cause we have, we have liquid death to hydrate with tonight. Anyway, um, I am going to do some news and advocacy, some global, news and advocacy. Uh, I have, let's see, I have some mail. I have a few packages over here. In fact, look at this giant package over here. I have the world's largest package over here. Just, I went to the mailbox yesterday. That's the drive that you just saw in the little intro. Do you see the almost road rage that happened? There was some damn near road rage that almost happened on that drive a few times, but the one instance in particular I went to the mailbox She's like, oh, this package is for you too. I said, what are you crazy? No, what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's here. We're going to open it in the mail. Uh, I do have a random uh, liquid tasting. Like I said, that is actually the one thing tonight that's going to be British themed, but we're still going to vote on it. But I wanted to taste some UK e-liquids and yeah, I think that's good. And I have a retro vape and we're going to do getting to know Grim Green. It's going to be a full vlog. And if I have time, I wanted to bring back an old segment. I don't know why I'm always male first. Come on, Pam. We're not doing male first. That would be crazy. As anxious as I am, it feels like Christmas right now. As anxious as I am to get to that package, we do have other matters to attend to, including, oh, including coffee drinking, <laughs> including coffee drinking, including including what we're going to do literally right now. I guess we're going to hydrate. We're going to, we're going to start this vlog off with some hydration. Like I said, I don't have any uh, coldest water bottle, but I have liquid death. They're not exactly a sponsor, but I'm still going to mark this as like a paid thing because they did send me a hat. 
but I have some Liquid Death Mountain spring water uh, in the tall boy cans. Uh, these are awesome. I just buy a 12 pack and I just keep refilling the cans because I like glug glug and liquid out of a can. It's just something I didn't know that I wanted to do until I drank glug glugged like crispy cold water out of a can. It's kind of incredible. It was kind of incredible. So uh, right now I'd like to do that thing that's my favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. So right now I think I'm gonna have some sort of hydration contest with Adam. Challenge on the floor. Challenge on the floor. I know we all wanna know what's in the box. We all wanna know what's in the box. Good morning, Data. How's that, how's that breakfast? Uh, let's hydrate with Adam real quick. Adam, I finished way before you. Way before you, bro. Most of it's going out of your down your chin. Still hydrating. Adam is much more hydrated than I am for a hundred percent sure. Can't there's no Grim Army sticker on that water bottle, Adam. But he's really showing me up here. That's a lot of water. Adam! Dang. Dang, that's a lot of water, Adam. Dang, that's a lot of water, Adam. I hope everybody stayed hydrated with us. I can't believe I plowed through that whole can. <laughs> that's a lot. There's just going to be a lot of pee breaks. Look, I've got cans of water. I've got coffee. I've got a beer, which we're going to get into. Honestly, if anybody else out there has a video that they would, that I will play. I will play your video on this vlog. You can send it over to me. Nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, that one thing. And it can kind of be literally anything. I've seen, uh, you know, we, we've had a hydration contest before. I like it when people show off their pets. We've seen lizards. I love dogs. I get a lot of dog pictures. In fact, we're going to do, we're going to do, I don't know, a couple dog pictures. But first, first before anything, it's 9.07 a.m., which means it's 5 o'clock somewhere, which means it's actually five o'clock in the UK right now. So cheers, you guys. Let's have a beer. Is that bumper still way, way, way too loud? Someday I'm going to fix that. The beer we're having tonight comes from 903 Brewing Sasquatch. What? Imperial Chocolate Milk Stout. Yeah, I uh, figured I'd pick a, a real, like a, this is the British time slot vlog, but I wanted to do like a real American brewed beer. This comes from 903 Brewing is in the, the great state of Texas, brewed in, in, in America and in Texas, and I just love that. Imperial Chocolate Milk Stout. This is a pretty highly rated beer, and it clocks in at like 10%. What did I put on the thumbnail? It's like 10 and a half percent or something like that. Oh, it even tells you what kind of cup to drink it out of. It tells you what kind of cup to drink it out of. Do you see that right there? It says glassware. That's the, that's the cup you're supposed to drink it out of. Damn it. Well, all I have is a Grim Army pint glass that will be back in stock someday on grimgreenmerch.com. All right. Wow. Here we go. What's up, morning beers? Yeah, it's going to pour like the surface of, of of Neptune. I don't know what that means. It's just going to be dark. It's like space without the stars. No no head at all on there. Look at that. That's a nothing head on there. But that beer is dark. That beer is dark, handgun patriot. That beer is dark. I hope you have a beer next to you. I hope you have a I hope you have an American brewed beer next to you. <laughs> I was trying to find I was legitimately trying to find I have a bottle of the Trooper somewhere I, c I could not find it i was actually trying to have a british beer for this stream but i'm sorry so we ended up with sasquatch look at that god don't you just want to drink that cheers you guys appreciate you being here today hope you got something good and frosty next to you that's delightful oh my god there's something about the, this it's an imperial chocolate milk stout, and there's something happening in here that makes it like the creamiest beer I can recall having. There's still some carbonation to it or some effervescence. <laughs> 
I haven't done that in a while. Effervescent. But it's the, the, the overwhelming sensation that I get from this. It's like chocolate syrup. It's like this creamy, creamy chocolate cream that's chocolate and cream. But beer, I mean, it tastes like beer. I don't want anybody thinking this is just like, you know, Hershey's chocolate in your mouth. It kind of is a little bit like Hershey's chocolate in your mouth with beer. The, the creaminess from the, from the milk stout, it's really, I don't know, creamy. If I had to pick one word to describe this, it would be creamy. Creamy chocolate milk stout. Dang. My mouth is like watering a little bit, waiting for some more of this good stuff. That is delightful. It is a little boozy, man. It is a little boozy. I can I can smell, I can taste the alcohol in it. You get a strong, strong alcohol finish on this. Strong alcohol smell, strong alcohol finish, but very creamy, very chocolatey. Damn, Sasquatch Bruin, 903 out of Texas. Where in Texas? Uh, brewed and bottled in Sherman, Texas, 903 Brewers. Pairs with uh, smoked meats, chocolate, and mischief. It says on there, pairs with mischief. I don't know what I can pair this with. Let's go with the Jake Scrapwood tobacco. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Jake Scrapwood tobacco. I don't think I saw Jake Scrapwood here today, and that's okay because it's really early. It's really early in the United States. But we're going to pair some Jake Scrapwood tobacco. Don't worry, I'll talk about this real quick and what I've been vaping. This is one of those like angels singing pairings. Uh, I like it so much. I'm going to do it again literally right now. That is incredible. That is a really, really good pairing. This is this is one of my patrons, Jake Scrapwood. He makes a he DIYs a vanilla bourbon honey tobacco. I've been vaping it uh, pretty frequently, and it pairs so well with this, so incredibly well with this. It somehow makes it creamier. The honey I really pick up on in the liquid. That's a hard component for me to get when I'm just vaping it, but for some reason, when I pair this liquid with the beer, that honey note in the tobacco really comes uh, sparkling to the top, sparkling to the top. All right. Well, now that we're tucked in with a nice uh, Sasquatch beer, now that we're tucked in with a nice Sasquatch beer, actually, let's do some super chats. I saw some super chats come in. In fact, I thought the super chats uh, was going to be backwards still for some reason. There was one super chat that came in before I could even get to the stream. Jubbies. <laughs> Jubbies says, hello and welcome from Denmark. Welcome and hello. Thanks for all that you do. Started vaping in 09 and I've been with you all the way. All the best to you and your family. Jubbies, thank you so much. Very gracious of you. Very, very gracious of you, Jubbies. In fact, let's get over here. Let's see what other, uh, see if any more super chats came in. There was a couple. Oh, whoops. Oh, there was no more. Super I saw super chats. Why does it say that there's zero? I saw a few come in. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back here in the chat and find these damn super chats. There was at least two that came in. This is ridiculous, you two. All right. Well, I'll, I'll read the two that I can find. But there was one, there was a few before the stream that have just disappeared. Uh, Tribal Buddha. Very gracious of you. I'm listening to you. Uh, I'm listening when you get to my package. I'm at work, so I don't know if I'll be seeing the screen when it happens, but I'll try Big Box Mania. Yes, we have Tribal Buddha to thank for the giant package that has created hashtag Big Box Mania. <laughs> Big Box Mania here on the big stream. Thank you very much, Tribal Buddha. I can't wait to get to this. I can't wait to get to this. Nathaniel Mayo, yeah, you sent me a clip. Vaping Case, how you doing, buddy? Uh, there was one more super chat in here. I hooked on funk. How are you doing, buddy? I see you there. Uh, Bizkit Vapes, Irish Guinness, close enough for you? Yeah, definitely is. There was one more. Was that it? Was that the only super chat I missed? Was one the tribal Buddha? All right, cool. Well, I just want to make sure I get to him. You know, I feel like it's the least I can do. Oh, wait, there was one more. 
There was a blue one. There it is. Matt Sinister. Ah, Matt Sinister. I'm in the box and I have to pee. Open up. Hashtag push-ups. <laughs> oh, Matt Sinister. All right. Listen, Matt Sinister, uh, he makes me do push-ups every stream, and that's fine. And we're going to do push-ups. And apparently, so when I open this box, Matt Sinister is going to pop out and just power bomb me. Just into the ground. He's going to come over here, end the stream, you know, do the stone cold, like clack some beers over his head. That's what's going to happen. Let's do 10 push-ups, and everybody's welcome to join in, you know, because quitting smoking, man, it just, it improves your life so much. I wouldn't have been able to do 10 push-ups when I was a smoker. So let's, uh, let's, let's celebrate our harm reduction, and everybody's welcome to do 10 push-ups with me. High five. You get a special place in my heart if you do 10 push-ups with me, okay? Checkered socks. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Ten push ups. Not bad. Not bad, 10 push-ups. Now that I'm winded, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd in with the super chat. Did you ever try the Vaporoni got juice you got with your Merle's stack? If so, what was your favorite? I don't think I ever tried that, Lloyd. I do not think I ever tried that. But I remember the liquid that came with that Merle's. It's somewhere. It's in my office. Thank you for reminding me of that. I will track it down. I will track it down, Lloyd. I may I promise this to you. I'm making you a promise, Lloyd. I will track down this liquid. Vaporoni. I can kind of picture what it looks like in my head. Where is that liquid? Damn. All right. Well, thank you, Lloyd, for the uh thank you, Lloyd, for the reminder about that uh liquid. I'll definitely track that down. That's my promise to you, Lloyd. Nobody, I'm making that promise to nobody else. Just uh just Lloyd. Felt good, Jay? Yeah. Feeling ripped? <sighs> Gun show. <laughs> Gun show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Definitely not that guy. Ad Sloan missed my first super chat. Yo yo and sending all the love to the cool kids. I'm sorry, Ad Sloan. It wasn't me. It was it was YouTube. It was YouTube. I literally swiped over to the super chats and it was just empty. And I thought I saw some come in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ad Sloan. I missed your first super chat. Shout out to Ad Sloan. Shout out to Cloud Cartel UK. Hashtag Cloud Cartel UK. All right. Let's uh, real quickly, I just real quickly want to talk about a few things that I've been vaping because I've been trying to streamline it. Um, when I said that I love the way that the Havocs vaped on that review, I, I meant it. I love the way that this Havoc vapes. I've been vaping it like crazy. I have some Noli designs like Apple Pear in here. It's literally like this is the thing I've been grabbing for constantly that 0.2 mesh havoc is so rad mouth to lung look it's fine 12 milligram turkish traditions in there which is which is fine i don't know if anybody's uh out there has tried the turkish traditions um but it's a banger and it's a real weird liquid when i vape the turkish traditions in a three milligram out of like a lung clouds bro clouds like a sub tank or an rda or something it tastes like root beer to me. It tastes like root beer and I can't not untaste it. But when I vape it 12 milligram out of like a mouth to lung, it tastes like a creamy butterscotchy kind of tobacco-y flavor. It's, it's really, really confusing. <laughs> it's really, really confusing. Um, there's a few pods I've been using. Of course, the V3, of course, the Weenax, and now this iJoy Captain Ergo. Um, not quite as cool as you think. I had high hopes for this. I'm still in the midst of reviewing it, but uh, if you're like anxious to pull the trigger on this iJoy Captain Ergo pod, just hang on a second. Just just hang on. <laughs> oh, hold up. Hold up a sec. Just hold up a sec on that pod. Um, damn snowcap mods got me squonking again. What the hell, snowcap mods? Snowcap mods make these rad 3D printed little devices, single 18650 bangers, single 21 bangers. This is a single 21 slash 2700 Snowcap squonker that I don't know the exact name of. I will track it down. I don't know the exact name of this. It has a name. V2. It's called like the, oh man, I'm a terrible person. 
I'm a terrible person. I can't remember the name of this squonker, but it's a bang and squonker. That is the Haku Phenom on top that I have recently fallen in love with and a big, long, dorky drip tip. Pony on acids on the inside. And I have to tell you a story about this RDA because I set this thing up, Haku Phenom, for the first time just a few days ago built it, wicked it. I used some drip theory coils, cotton bacon, had a liquid in there that I didn't love, but it was crackling so hard that I just kept vaping it, even though I didn't really love the liquid that was inside there. I loved it. Anyway, fast forward to, I want to re-wick it and put pony on acid in here because that's my like summertime jam liquid. I re-wicked it, couldn't get the crackle back. Re-wicked it again, couldn't get the crackle back. I've re-wicked this four times now and I cannot get the original crackle back that I had, and it's making me insane, and I need Adam Breeze tones. I have to go back and watch my own coil crackle stream <laughs> to get the technique down to get the crackle back. A little bit of crackle, but ultimately, it's kind of annoying. But uh, hey, guys, I'm squonking again, you guys. Squonking again. There's not enough crackle. Not enough crackle, but I love that Haku Phenom. I've got two mixes going, and I love the mix. And one of them has the Pioneer and Restricted Lung with my own personal built alien that I'm so fucking proud of that I built that I put in there. And then uh, one has the Har from Todd. Hey, guys, Todd here. Todd in the shed with the Har. I love this RTA. I've been using it in Restricted Lung. Banana Cream Beauty. Baked on the inside. Holy shit. Uh, it's awesome. Awesome restricted lung. It is really restricted. I thought I knew what restricted lung was until I realized I have no idea what restricted lung is. There's a whole other restricted lung like subset of vapors that are like, well, here, this is restricted lung. And I try, like the har is restricted lung and it gets more restricted than this. I was kind of taken aback, I guess. Nick, love that YouTube picture. Thank you for rocking the Grim Army, bro. That's cool. That that's a good point. Nick, damn good point. Could it be that POA is a max VG? PO, but POA is a 90 VG liquid. It is a 90 VG liquid. And so uh that could be the crackle. That could be. Maybe the VG is too thick and gloopy and it's not giving me the good crackle that I want. Richard, I appreciate you being here. Hashtag replay crew. Much love to the UK. That's why we're here today. We're basically here today to give love to the UK and to celebrate the UK and to be like, UK, thank you for being the only GD country in the world that is standing up for tobacco harm reduction. <laughs> the only country. Damn it. Why did we ever leave, you guys? Why did we ever leave? Uh, that here, uh, ether, you know, loving the ether, loving the abyss. I just did another follow-up video for that. Uh, still killing it with this clutch recoil combo, the clutch X18. Love the crap out of it. JMW premium apple custard in there. Loving that. This has been my newest like love affair. I got a hammer of God mod in 2018 and I just, I used it like three times and then it just went into my cabinet back here. It just sat there, just sat there for literal years, dude, literal years. Uh, well, uh, fast forward to, sorry about these burps. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. That is really gross. And it tastes like beyond burgers, if that makes any sense. But, uh, so I, and I had this Valhalla 40 millimeter and I thought, wait, I have that hammer of God. Why don't I put it on there? I've been loving this setup. I haven't vaped series in a really long time. And one of the things about, you know, this is this is my lot in life and that's okay. These are first world problems, you guys. But because of what I've done for the last 12 years, I've just grown to love a lot of different ways and aspects of vaping. Like I can go back and forth between the har, which is just the tiniest little single coil restricted lung little two little just delightful little restricted long banger. And then I can turn around in, in the same minute and go, no, I want a parallel series in a 40 millimeter cloud chasing atomizer now.
and I love them both. And I love them both almost equally. And I can then go and like, oh, now I want a really tight mouth to lung with like a, the Pioneer. And now I want to squonk with this. And now I want to use a sub tank. And now I'm going to use this dripper. And now I'm going to use a 40 millimeter. And now I'm going to use the, you know, series and parallel. I love so many aspects of vaping that I like being able to go back between a mix and a har and then to like a series 40 millimeter atomizer. This has been one of my big jams and a lot of it is due, look at this, this poor label, this poor like inkjet printed label from, from my buddy Jake. The, the liquid is one of the contributing factors to the overall enjoyment. This is one of those setups where you guys know when everything really comes to, we're live, Kyle, we're live. We are live. I can prove it in a number of ways. Um, <laughs> this is one of those setups where like everything just came together perfectly. You know, it's like your mod is hitting great and it's your perfect mod and it's got that nice button that you like and you got your favorite RDA on there and it's, and you know, you got your coils in there that you love. It's either your favorite builder's coils or like your special fuse Clapton's that you love and you put in there with your favorite liquid and everything just comes together. And it's like this just euphoric vape experience where you're like, yes, everything is flawless about this. That's kind of how I feel about this. I wish this button was a little bit softer, but otherwise the series, the warmth, the flavor, I, lo I love everything about this right now. God damn it, that's so good and satisfying. So that's really more or less uh, what I've been vaping. I do have a billet box here. I do have that new Watofo mod as well that I'm kind of reviewing and that new Watofo RDA as well that I'm kind of in the process of reviewing. It, uh, look, this honestly hasn't been getting a whole ton of use. It's really big for a dual 18650, you know, the M Dirk or whatever, the M Dura. I, I'm still using it. I just haven't found like my groove with it. I don't reach for it often because it's so big and I go, God, that's only dual 18650s and it's that big. Like, so there's a lot of things going on there, but that is really more or less what I've been vaping. Now, as far as what I've been drinking, it's this beer right here. I'm not sure if I saw some more super chats come in, but I try to do those at the end of every segment. So let's try that now. That's it. We're going to be running long. We're going to be running long anyway. Sean in with the super chat. Got to go, but thanks uh, for everything, Nick. Love you and all you do. Oh, Sean, thank you. That's very gracious of you, bro. Thank you, Sean. Very much appreciated that. It's honestly a labor of love. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else on a Thursday, literally than right here, literally <laughs> right here. I for in with a super chat can't physically do regular pushups. So I did 30 incline pushups on my wall. I for fucking a 30 incline pushups on your wall, bro. That deserves a fist bump and a half that deserves two full fist bumps. That's the thing is you, you just have to start somewhere. I started doing push-ups the very same way. When I started doing push-ups, I did it against like a countertop. It was like an incline push-up and I would do 10 of those. And then I got, I felt like pretty confident with those. So I thought I can do at least one perfect push-up. Like that was my goal. Once a day, one flawless, perfect push-up with perfect form and perfect everything. And it's gonna suck, but you can do one, bro. You can do one. One became two, became five, became 10, became now I do sets of 10 throughout the day and you end up doing 30, 40 pushups every single day. And it just adds up. I, for, I, I admire the fuck out of you right now for doing that. That is huge. Awesome. Uh, the wee baby Seamus, good morning and good evening to all our UK friends. I was going to say the same thing about PG and POA. I wish I could have got to try that liquid. Here's the thing, baby Seamus. I'm a generous person. And when I heard that someone hasn't vaped pony on acid, I want you to vape pony on acid. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do, we, we baby Seamus, just because it's you. I'm gonna write we on here. And this is just one little three milligram, like 15 mil bottle of POA. I will get this to you, we baby. I will get this to you. I don't have a lot of pony on acid, <laughs> but, 
But Pony on Acid is one of those things where it's like, I love it so much that I want you to try it too. <laughs> you know, you have to try Pony on Acid, wee baby. Uh, I for in with a super chat, just thought I'd share this. The reason I can't do proper pushups is I don't have the upper body strength. However, in the past few years, I've gone from 390 to 307. I fur, I fur, I fur, I fur. Bro, it, at the end of 2016, and you can see this throughout my videos, at the end of 2016, I was the biggest that I ever was. I was, I was, I was knocking on the door of like 250. And it was a it, it that was the that was like the largest I had ever been. And I was happy and I was fine and I was whatever. But that was like a realization for me when I was like, okay, maybe you can do some push-ups against a wall. You know, like that was a thing where it's like just little changes will will affect it greatly. You know, there's this, uh, I've had this, this thought rattling around in my head ever since I read it on the internet where, you know, there's this idea that if people, if you go back in time, you, you'd be scared to like change one little thing because of the ramifications for the future, right? Like you can't go back in time and just punch your dad in the face. You can't because that'll affect the timeline, you know, and then all the future will be messed up just from that one little thing. But for some reason, people can't change one little thing right now and then have huge changes, you know, the ramifications of that in the future. For me, just starting to do one push up three years ago, now I'm doing 30, 40 push ups a day. And it was a real long, gradual process. But man, one little change in the past has huge ramifications for the future. Huge ramifications for the future, Eifer, and I'm so fucking proud of you, bro. Awesome. Uh, Dejugula, GD YouTube taking away my chat. Live crew, Dejug did they take away your chat? I'm sorry, Dejugula. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, Ar Arf, Arif, 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 how are you doing, bro? Hello, Nick, I've been following you silently since 2016. Uh, first time I caught you live, always been a replay crew. Ah, oh, Arif. I love that. I love it when silent subscribers just say something. If you are watching the stream and you're a silent subscriber, just speak up, just speak up. Just be loud, just say something. Just say something. I'd love to hear from you. And then uh, Lord Lord Sigrid Thorloff, Thorloff, I'm gonna get your name right one day. In fact, I feel like you're a person I need to play like D&D &D with for some reason. Very gracious of you, didn't say nothing, you didn't have to. And then finally we got Mickey V, keep up the good work. I will, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm, I, thank you for thinking it's good work. Thank you for thinking it's good work. The Wee Baby Seamus, oh, thank you, you're very great. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much, Nick. I, I know what it means to you and I'm very grateful. Like I said, Wee Baby, when you taste Pony on Acid, it'll, it'll all be worth it. It'll all be worth it, unless you don't like it and then well, here's what happens if you don't like it. You're sending me the bottle back. You're kicked off the Patreon for sure. Straight out of the Discord. No more Zoom hangs. No more in secret Instagram streams. <laughs> All my patrons have to like <laughs> have to like Pony on Acid. <laughs> Ridiculous. Delirium. I'm just, of course, I'm joking, wee baby. It's my pleasure. Delirium says, what the fuck are y'all doing on my screen so early? UK vlog. UK vlog. Uh, Dean, very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, your package from Canada is coming June 29th. Can you please open it on your vlog? Cheers from Canada. Easily done, Dean. That request easily filled. I'll keep an eye out on June 29th. Okay, that's not too far away. I'll get it next week. Hell yeah, Dean. Hell yeah, Dean. All right, you guys, here's the thing. Let's do, I don't know, I kind of want to mix it up and I kind of want to do a retro vaping because I want to vape this RDA before I do news and advocacy. Is that okay? Can I do the retro vaping real quick? This is, <laughs> this is the only bumper that I left in reverse from, from, the, from the reverse vlog last week because I just think it sounds so cool and creepy. Uh, let's do some real quick uh, retro vapes. just so weird i just love it. it's disturbing 
Like forward, it's like ding 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 ding, and you're kind of like, "Ooh, I can groove to this." And then backwards, it's like you're being punished. It's like it's just real bizarre. Let's have some coffee, you guys. Let's have some coffee. We'll do all the liquids. We'll have some beer, mm. and then we'll chase it with some uh, liquid Death Mountain Spring Water. Mm. So much liquid, much hydration, many urinations. All right, let's do some. Uh, let's do some retro vaping. Uh, you guys, does anybody, anybody in the chat? It, it Wesley Nintendo Boss fight music. That's kind of what it sounds like, doesn't it? And you're fighting a boss, and he's got like a glowing chest or something. And he, when he goes, oh, you have to like punch him in the chest a bunch of times and then run away. And he goes, oh, and like throws spears up in the air and they fall down on you and you hold it with your shield. I'm basically creating a video game right now. But that's kind of what I pictured. Who recognizes this RDA? Literally nobody. I'm going to guess that literally nobody recognizes this RDA. I will send you the other 30 mil of pony on acid if you can guess this RDA. But I know that my pony on acid is safe. Because no one's going to guess this RDA. This was, this was an RDA that was made and manufactured. I think it was manufactured in China. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was manufactured in China. But it was released by a U.S. company. A U.S. vape shop actually released this RDA. Vape shop. What's that, Mike, on the Super Chat? The disturbing backwards music commanded me to, <laughs> commanded me to Super Chat. I command Mike to super chat. This is an RDA. First of all, that's a little DHD red uh, chop top on there. Love the chop tops. Looks like it's got some Kennedy style airflow. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. This is, this came from a company called, uh, yeah, I don't think any Brit, any UK, anybody in the UK is going to get this. Not a chance. Nobody in the UK is going to get this. This was released in the US from a company in Colorado, and I don't think it ever made it to uh, internationally. I don't think it made it to the United Kingdom or, or to Europe or to anywhere. Oh, there you go, Vaping Jedi. It's the Vaporgate something. This was created by Vaporgate. Shout out Vaporgate Yosh Vaporgate in Colorado. Yosh Vaporgate in Colorado. Yeah. Vaping Jedi, you're the closest. If you really want that other uh, pony on acid, I'll send it to you. But if you say no, then that means I get to vape it. Chris, nope, Chris. Chris for the win. Probably used Google. That's fine. It's the Vaporgate Noble RDA. The Noble RDA. And I picked this RDA because I really, really liked it, but I also really, really, really hated it at the same time. I had a very... Had a very complicated relationship with this RDA. Kennedy style airflow. It's 24 millimeters sitting right now on that Lost Vape Thelema DNA 250C that I dig so much. But let's take a look at this deck. First of all, this is a pop and paint situation. Pop and paint situation. Chris, you won. Pop and paint situation. You can't blay your liquid through the middle. You cannot. You, you can't. And I know people tell me that you know, there's other RDAs where it's like, oh, you just think you can't, but you really can. No, this is an RDA that you, that you definitely, definitely cannot. And it'll make sense when I show you the airflow. Cheers. That's uh, Starbucks, Verona. Huh! All right. So there you go. There's the deck right there. So it's basically a postless deck. The airflow is that big chonker in the middle that's the airflow if these coils were not in here which i didn't want to rebuild this they're sitting in a little cradle and the airflow is coming right up through the center and outward at your coils does that make sense to you guys i wish i could show you the airflow better but the airflow is that center thing and it's pointed directly at your coils directly at your coils. And this is one of those things where, look, if you were to blay your liquid, it's going to hit this, this little platform right here, and it's going to go straight into the airflow. Like, there's no way that this cannot go straight into your airflow. Even when you pop and paint, 
you still have to be a little bit careful about liquid dropping down right into your airflow. Because you can kind of see that coil just sits in that little cradle right there, a little bit cruddy. See, I hit this thing with a toothbrush hard, but it didn't get all the crud out of it. Airflow up right through the center, boosh right there. These are the, I think these are M Turk coils that I have on there, but you can kind of see, yeah, postless deck, little slot for your juices right there, your liquids. Let's see. Let's see if these will glow evenly. I haven't glowed this yet. Watt boost, 57 watts, 0.14. Oh, glowing freaking perfectly. These have to be Turk coils. That's the only thing I can think of. This RDA came out in 2019. And I was on a heavy Turk kick then. These are definitely Turk coils. So I'm just gonna wick this up real fast so that we can so that we can vap it. I believe these are two and a half millimeter. Let's double check. No, these are three millimeters. Oh, three millimeter bangers. All right. Well, that changes everything, I guess. What I'm hoping to do is get some crackle out of this. That's always my goal, always. The airflow was really good on this. If you liked the Kennedy, you would have liked the airflow on this. It is a hor understatement of the year. Horrible design, horrible design. But you can pop and paint. The problem is it's just not quite as satisfying as a Kennedy. When you pop and paint on a Kennedy, you get that O-ring snap of just, oh, it's delicious, isn't it? I would describe it as delicious. You get that delicious O-ring snap kind of happening. With this, the Vaporgate Noble, no, no such, no such delicious snap. Don't mind me, I'm just back here wasting cotton. Okay, I think I'm ready to clip this here. Just wasting cotton back here. I'm trying to get this wicked. I remember this having really good airflow. I remember this having okay flavor. Anybody out there in the chat try the Noble RDA? Just out of curiosity. I feel like it wasn't uh I feel like it wasn't super popular. It wasn't super hypey. Earn, you don't like it when you fail to get crackle. Yeah. I always, here's the thing, I always hope for crackle. But if I don't get it, then it's, you know, it's not the end of the world because I spent a lot of years crackle, crackle free. I didn't know, you know, what crackle was or how to get it or, you know, how to replicate it. I still don't really even know how to replicate it. You bleh through the middle on your Kennedy's Sunstone custom knives. That's interesting. Steve, the machinist himself, constantly... <laughs> Con there wasn't a time where I ever ran into Steve the Machinist from Kennedy and he didn't give me shit about how I treat his atomizers. That happened on a regular basis. Steve would go, why do you pop the top? Why do you pop the top? Bro, 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 bro. You can just drip through the middle. You can just drip through the middle. You can just drip through the middle. And he would send me, like, he would post on Instagram, like in his feed, just to prove me wrong. <laughs> he would post... On his, uh, he would have his Kennedy mech mod in like the center console of his truck, just horizontal rolling around. He's like, see, I just dripped through the middle. It's not leaking anywhere. He picks it up, vapes it. He was really adamant about having me not, not pop and paint. But the thing is, I like popping and painting on a Kennedy. That's part of the appeal of a Kennedy to me, man. God damn, this beer is good. So... Let me find a liquid real quick to put in this. I want a vape yig. I want a vape yig. Just because it's completely discontinued, it's a super rare liquid, and I really just want to try to pair it with this e-liquid. E-liquid. Um, so I, I want to give a real quick shout out to all my Yo Yo Cool Kids clubs and all my patrons that are unable to attend today because of the time slot difference. I know uh, it's basically 1 a.m. right now for Adam Breeze Tones in Australia. I know a lot of people are at work, catfishies at work, you know. So I appreciate you guys uh, being flexible and letting me do this uh, alternate time slot vlog. Because I, I kind of like, I kind of like streaming in the morning. I might create some sort of morning show. 
there we go. We got it all liquided up. And you can see, like, if you dripped on that, there's no way. There's no way. Let's turn this up. It's a 0.14, so I'm going to turn it to at least 70 watts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me them vapors. I can't wait to pair this liquid with this beer. That's what I'm really excited about. So the Noble. And then we have this this cap. And so he, here's what's weird about the Noble. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to see down in there. But kind of right there, you see the rim of where the drip tip sits. There's these two little holes, like right there. Do You see those two little holes? There are airflow holes on the inside of the cap that go from the inside of the cap to the inside of the drip tip. And I don't understand that. I don't know why. I don't know why there would be airflow going from the inside of the chamber to inside of your drip tip, just little holes. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Can the morning show be called The Morning Brew Coffee and Vapes? Have a breakfast vlog? Look, look, if you guys want me to do a breakfast stream, you don't have to twist my arm. I would love to do a breakfast stream. It just doesn't have that snappy Kennedy love when you snap it down. It's wholly uh, unsnappy satisfying. It just kind of like pushes down and you can feel like metal on metal a little bit. Metal on metal a little bit, which normally I'd be a fan of. It's like metal on metal. Fuck yeah, metal on metal. Metal on metal, but not metal on metal. It wasn't a bad looking RDA. Look at it on top of there. That's not bad looking. It's just a little squatty guy. It's made even squattier with the drip tip right there. Airflow. Not my favorite airflow. I thought I liked this airflow. Sharp. That's the only way I can describe this airflow right now is sharp. Sharp ass airflow. You're watching it work, Dustin. Vicious Vapors. Shout out to Vicious Vapors. New York. Do you hear how sharp, sharp that airflow is? This can definitely use some more wattage. We're going to go to at least 85 watts. Faint. Earn. Faint. Faint, faint, faint crackle. Faint, 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 faint crackle. Faint crackle. Airflow is not good. It's real sharp. Flavor. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. I'm going to not pronounce your name right, so I'm just going to do this. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. And you have to pop and paint every single time. Pop and paint, pop and paint, pop and paint. Air Airflow sucks. It's sharp as hell, but the flavor is actually pretty good. Now that I've been vaping it, it tastes like yig. I'm getting a good yig flavor from this. It's all stainless steel construction. So after these, like, what was that? Five, maybe that four toots. It's hot as fuck. It's hot. Like even with the plastic on top, even with this little nub tip and like, look, I, I know I, what does Jay Hayes say? Jammies. I get my jammies down on here hard. Like I can feel metal on my lip. This honestly isn't the best drip tip for this. <laughs> it's just aesthetically really appealing, right? Can I get this drip tip out of here? Oh, that's the thing about the nubs, man, about those chop tops. It's impossible. Now that's under my desk forever. Is there a better 810 that I can put on here that will make this more satisfying? Something taller, perhaps. The trend of really slammed down drip tips has never super appealed to me. I need some distance, man. How about this one? Yeah, this one for sure. Yeah, that's much better. Look at that. Even though there's a gap, that distance from the RDA to your mouth makes all of the difference. 
actually makes me like this RDA a little bit more. So it's the Noble. It was a real obscure, weird RDA, but I love Yosh and I love Vaporgate in Colorado and they released the Noble. And this was very un-Vaporgate. Vaporgate usually releases like Yosh loves big atomizers and Vaporgate was the first company that was doing like honking huge atomizers, like 50, 60 millimeter atomizers. Um, for one time as a joke, like for his birthday, they made Yosh this huge, it was like the size of a spare tire atomizer. It had like 19 coils in it. It was ridiculous, but that's the way that Yosh is. That's the way Yosh and Vaporgate is. And this was like a more commercialized 24 millimeter Kennedy style airflow RDA for like the mass market that unfortunately doesn't have good airflow. It doesn't have really great flavor, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry, Yosh. Sorry, Yosh. Look, it's not bad. It's just not wowing me right now. Like literally everything on my desk is vaping better. Recoil vapes better, that Valhalla vapes better, even that new Watofo Serpent RDA vapes a little bit better. The Haku Phenom definitely vapes better. Once you have really smooth airflow and you go to like sharp or turbulent airflow, ah, 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 that's like a huge pet peeve of mine. Huge gripe, huge gripe there, noble. All right, noble. Well, uh, before we jump into some news, let's do some super cha. That's all you get because we're running long. Where did I even F and leave off? I can't even tell you. Dean, uh, let's see. That's right. Eifer, we got Eifer. Uh, I'm trying to DM my first D&D campaign. I'd be honored to have you and Pickle join. Listen, I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons since eighth grade. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty, but I would be down for like a patron D&D campaign. How many of us are into D&D? Can we, can we get like a D&D campaign going? That would be so fun. So fun. TSV, that's very gracious of you. You didn't say anything. You didn't have to. Very much appreciated. Mike, the disturbing backwards music commanded me to super chat. <laughs> Chris, that's very gracious of you. Replay crew, 904, uh, 940 in Oceanside. And I've been sober a while, but I can join you in coffee time. 21 grams of Red Rooster Star Hill, 336 grams of water. I've never been able to find a good pair for black coffee. Black coffee really lends itself, believe it or not, depending on the origin, to certain like, uh, I've paired black coffee from like Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia with like a uh, citrusy vape. And it you'd be surprised. It really goes together Really, really hyper well, Chris. Really hyper well. Sure, we'll do some coffee. We'll do some coffee. Congratulations on being clean and sober for a while. Appreciate that's awesome, bro. Uh, Brian Vapors Cloud, more UK time zone streams, please. Yeah. What up, Brian Vapors Cloud? Appreciate you being here, bro. Look, I can try to do this, make this a more regular thing. I don't I don't want to commit to like once a month. But every once in a while, let's say we'll, we'll throw some time zones to the UK, mostly because I'm missing the UK. You know, after going to Expo for so many years in a row and Vape Jam after so many years in a row, it's like, why haven't I been to the UK this year? That's is stupid. I miss my UK fam. I'll get there. We'll get there. I all I want to do is go to Vape Jam, go to Vapor Expo UK and hang out at the bar with Mike Vapes. Like that's all I really want to do. Like sure the Vape Expo will be fun and you know, new liquids and stuff and of course that's fun. But you haven't lived until you've had some drinks with Mike F and Vapes. <laughs> because that, let me tell you how much fun that is. Uh, PJ Star, uh, I was just listening to Pink Floyd and I heard David Gilmore say, hey, you, give Grim Green five bucks. I changed it for you better. Appreciate, <laughs> appreciate that, PJ. That's <laughs> very gracious of you. You know, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon is the number one most sought after vinyl record of all time. And I'm not even a huge Pink Floyd fan. I like the Pink Floyd album where the guy is shaking hands with the guy that's on fire. I don't remember the name of it, but I really like that Pink Floyd album. Barbara Burgess, listening to the vlog while driving through Muskogee to pick up eye drops for my cataract surgery. 
Hey, you know, whatever you got to do, get your chores done, Barbara. Appreciate you. Love you, cuz. Hope you're doing good. Peter, that's very gracious of you, man. You didn't say anything. You didn't have to. Kyle says, hey, man, how do you clean your coils? Dry burn, dunk, brush. I appreciate any info. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, I know there was someone in the chat who said... Uh, who said, uh, glow your coils and dunk them in water. That's the best way. You get just a little cup of water, you glow your coils hot, and you release the button and you dunk them in the water. Tss, cools them down and you'll see black crud just fall to the bottom of the cup. Glow them again, dunk. Glow them again, dunk. You're, you'll, you'll be good to go if they're real gunked up. Generally, just a dry burn can go. In fact, I have a little metal brush that I'll glow it and then let, release the button so it doesn't short, and then you kind of brush brush the coils. That's a, that's a thing that works, but the dunk technique works great. Uh, Dan Baker, how you doing? A. Grimm, tuning in from the JW Premium Mixing Room, currently 57 degrees in here. Is that the ideal liquid mixing temperature? I'm not sure. Anybody in the DIY community want to... <laughs> Lend some credence to that. Got some goodies heading your way, brother. Have, thank you, Dan Baker. That's very gracious of you, bro. I very much appreciate that. Tyler B. Got to head to work. Yo, yo, to all the cool kids. Tyler B. Tyler B. And really all the yo, yo, cool kids. After this stream, we're going to do the Zoom hangs. And the Zoom hang is just going to go all day till like midnight. We're just going to be hanging out literally all day. So you can pop in at any time, Tyler B. Uh, Peter, very gracious of you. You didn't say anything you didn't have to. Eric damn very gracious of you. You didn't say anything. You didn't have to. Uh, we're going to have to wrap this up in a second. Eifer, thousand percent down. yo yo guild kids, guild kids, guild kids. Dude, D&D. &D. What if we started playing fucking D&D? &D? Look, I'm down. Okay. L let me wrap up here with TJ so we can get to other segments. yo yo Nick, I was listening to Almighty Dollar and Ozzy said, give that bloke Grim $5. Ozzy, you know, Ozzy and me are real tight. We've always been real tight. And uh, I appreciate him uh, repping me like that. I appreciate you listening to Ozzy. <laughs> appreciate that. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to run the news and advocacy bumper. And then I'm going to go have a bio break because that's inevitable. I'm not going to be able to get through the news and advocacy without peeing. So it's going to go news and advocacy here. I'll just do this. Ready? News and advocacy, yeah. yeah. So now that we're here, I'm just going to play some music and I'm going to go take a bio break. That means, in, in streaming terms, that means pee pee. I'm going to go pee. Oh, hang on. That music's not le nearly now loud enough. There you go. I'll be right back. Yeah, real good, real, real good pee. If anyone was curious, real, good. <laughs> real, real good. Uh, uh, all right, let, so let's jump into some news and advocacy here, you guys, because there's a hell of a lot going on, hell of a lot going on, and uh, I'd like to talk about it. So here's one thing I've been throwing out there constantly: testimonials. You guys, you guys, Europe, UK, Denmark, Sweden, anybody that can hear me right now testimonials. Your stories matter. Lived experiences matter. There was a representative in the United States of America in this great state of Rhode Island, Julie Casimiro, who completely changed her stance on vaping. She was an avid anti-vaping campaign for tobacco-free kids promoting politician. 
What changed her mind on vaping was stories, your stories, your testimonials. She went to a vape shop and just sat there all day and watched adult after adult after adult after adult walk in and buy flavored vapes so they didn't have to smoke. And that is what changed her mind. We can change these politicians' mind one at a time. And one of the ways that we're going to do that is with testimonials. Now, what am I going to put up on the screen? Who can guess? Maybe I'll do it out of order. Maybe I'll do it in order. Tobaccokills.ca, yeah, if you're in Canada, that's a call to action that you're going to want to do. If you're in the United States, CASA, that is our consumer org. If you're in the United States, I'm going to point you to the American Vaping Association. Greg Connolly over there at the American Vaping Association doing great, great things. Again, if you're in Canada, they got an upcoming nicotine cap already implemented, uh, and they have a flavor ban coming, so you're going to, get, going to want to get hooked up with rights for vapors 100%. And who can guess the last thing? What goes in this spot? Come on. If you're a vlog viewer, come on. You know what's going there. Do ya? Do ya? It's Vaping Demystified. This is Yorkshire Cancer Research Institute. Little 30-minute documentary about everything about vaping. Vaping demystified. There's so much polarization and misinformation out there about vaping and tobacco harm reduction and less harmful alternatives to tobacco cigarettes. I'm a firm believer like Cliff Douglas, ex-American or uh, ex-American Cancer Society says, there's no reason why smokers should continue to smoke and die just because they don't know that there's less harmful alternatives, less harmful forms of nicotine for them outside of combustion. Vaping demystified covers all of it. One more time. This is a this Meanwhile, is a big in the UK. Meanwhile, in the UK, they're doing everything correctly. Yorkshire Cancer Research. Check out that vaping demystified. I'm going to continue to promote that forever. There's a petition in the EU as well. World Vapors Alliance has an uh Call to action right now to make vaping part of Europe's beat cancer plan. It's not, which is crazy. And I'm also going to link in the description, not to this Charles Gardner tweet, but to his document. He says, if anyone tells you there's not enough evidence that nicotine vapes are safer than traditional cigarettes, show them this. 10,000 studies, 15 years of safe use, millions fewer smokers. If there are politicians and tobacco controllers out there attributing the decline in smoking to anything other than vaping, you're crazy. You are crazy. You are out of your mind. Out of your mind. Um, oh yeah, since we're doing EU friendly, smackandnudezack.nl, look, if you're in the Netherlands, there's a flavor ban coming. Uh, yeah, it just is. And, 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 and it's just coming. So there's a call to action. There's a little uh, website, Smack Nudzak. I know I'm not saying that correctly. I just, I say it wrong because I'm bad at pronouncing things. Smack and Nudzak, that's dot NL. In fact, I'm going to leave Smack and Nudzak up there. No, we'll put Smack and Nudzak back up there after the news and advocacy so that it can remain there for the rest of the vlog. Um, let's see, what else did I have that I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, this. I've been hammering this point home in a lot of my uh, review videos recently. And that is this headline from the NYU School of Global Public Health. So what the, globe, what the NYU School of Global Public Health did was analyze CDC data. While youth vaping rates have increased in recent years, most middle and high school students don't vape or smoke. And very few smoke or vape regularly finds a study led by researchers at NYU School of Global Public Health. This study, published this month in the journal Nicotine and Tobacco Research, finds that over 80% of youth do not use any tobacco, <laughs> and over 86% of youth don't vape, and among the minority who do vape, most are not regular vapors. In addition, this study reveals that most youth, most youth who are vaping were current smokers to begin with. This is all taken from the 2018 CDC National Youth Tobacco Survey. In that National Youth Tobacco Survey, they survey 20,000 kids. That's it. Surprising, right? 
There's 40 million plus teenagers in the United States, but they they survey 20,000 kids. And based on those 20,000 responses, that data gets extrapolated to like nationwide levels, which seems weird and fishy to begin with. But the reason that they had to do this on the 2018 National Youth Tobacco Survey is that was the last year that all of the data was actually publicly available. You see, CDC does this thing where they do the National Youth Tobacco Survey and then they go, oh, I'm looking at all this data and there is a youth vaping epidemic. And then other researchers and analysts go, well, can we see that data? And they go, no, <laughs> of course not but there is a youth vaping epidemic. I'm looking at the data right now, right here. And there's a youth vaping epidemic. Nobody can see the data. Nobody gets to look at all of the data. You just have to trust that the CDC's messaging is accurate. Well, fast forward a few years and CDC will eventually, eventually release all of the data. We still don't have all of the data from the 2019 National Youth Tobacco Survey because CDC is still holding on to that going, no, 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 you're going to have to trust us. We're looking at this data. Well, when researchers at NYU's School of Global Public Health looked at the exact same data, the full data set from the CDC, they kind of went, what youth vaping epidemic? What, what youth vaping epidemic? These, vape, these youth vaping numbers are in the below 1% range into the 0.9.6% range. Maybe, just maybe, the fears of a youth vaping epidemic were a little bit overblown, even according to CDC's own data. So like I said, I've been pimping this out in all of my reviews. At the end of my reviews lately, I've been saying, well, I can't put any shopping links down in the description, but the link I can put down in the description is the NYU School of Global Public Health. I'm just trying to get this link out there way more because this is a big deal. This is the NYU School of Global Public Health researchers looking at the same CDC data that caused the CDC to say youth vaping epidemic. And these researchers go, where? Hi. I need to get this link out as, as far and as wide as possible. So it's going to be linked definitely down below in the description. Most young people do not vape and even fewer vape regularly. And don't worry, we're going to get to talk about uh, Raja Krishnamurthy in just a second here for all of my U.S. people. But uh, snooze. Look, I'm a snoozer. I like snooze. And I was really very wrong about snus and really very wrong about chewing tobacco in general. Switching from cigarettes to snus is just as much of a harm reduction measure as switching from cigarettes to vaping. Switching from cigarettes to Copenhagen chewing tobacco is as just big of a harm reduction measure as switching from smoking to vaping. I did not know that. And now, Knowing that, I don't understand why snus is banned in the whole of Europe and in the UK. Kind of makes no sense. It says that I'm reading right here from uh, tobaccointelligence.com. It says, could legalizing snus tap into huge potential for smoking cessation? Yes. Two startling statistics emerged from a recent survey of smokers in Europe conducted by Ethra. That's European Tobacco Harm Reduction Advocates. Uh, nearly one in three, that's 31% of current smokers, would be interested in trying snus if it was legal. 31% of smokers in the whole of the European Union would be interested in trying snus if it were legal. All that Europe has to do is legalize snus, and that is an instant, instant and dramatic public health benefit. It has been illegal in Europe for... I, I don't know. Anybody in Europe want to clue me in? As far as I know, it has been illegal in Europe since the begin since forever. Since forever. Same with the UK. It's been illegal in Europe since forever. But this article mentions Sweden, and we talked about Sweden in the past really recently, and Sweden because of their snus use is essentially a smoke-free country. 
their, 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 their smoking prevalence is like below 5% now, which technically on paper makes Sweden a smoke-free country because of widespread snus use. And the, and the crazy thing about Sweden and snus is that the Swedish government doesn't recommend snus for smoking cessation. The only reason that people use snus in Sweden is social reasons. It's, it's word of mouth. It's, no, oh, use this instead of smoking. Use this instead of smoking. In World War II, Swedish soldiers were sent with snus, not cigarettes like American soldiers. They were sent with snus. And when those soldiers came back from the war, they just kept using snus. When our soldiers came back from the war, they just kept smoking cigarettes. That's what killed my grandfather on my dad's side was he got addicted to cigarettes during the war. Died of lung cancer. Horrible. Horrible. But in Sweden, they kept using snus and just everybody kept using snus and now nobody smokes and Sweden has no lung cancer, no, no you know, it's like the lowest cancer rates in the world are in Sweden all because of snus. Well, now the UK Meanwhile, in the fucking UK, the UK, it says perhaps UK now no longer bound by EU regulation will be the country to follow Sweden. A new tobacco control plan is being drawn up there, too. And as one member of parliament said recently, we shouldn't limit our response to one weapon. Nicotine pouches, heated tobacco and other alternative products like vaping, are there to be used and their efficacy and utility should be the subject of urgent study. You guys, snus might be coming back in the UK. I don't know. That makes me excited. That, you know, if they're saying that 30% of people in Europe are willing to try snus if it were illegal, if it were legalized, that's an instant, instant, instant health benefit, instant public health benefit. Same goes for the UK, same goes for the US, and honestly, the same goes for vaping. And just the fact that snus is now finally, finally getting some recognition as being a reduced harm product, there's no smoking in Sweden, now the UK is going, well, you know, we've already embraced vaping as a form of tobacco harm reduction. Maybe the smokers that won't switch to vaping will switch to snus. Let's legalize snus. The UK is doing literally everything correctly right now. I mean, look, <laughs> I'm not, that's painting with a real broad brush, right? I get it. Maybe not everything correctly, but as it relates to vaping and as it relates to saving people's lives and as it relates to tobacco harm reduction, yeah, UK is doing literally everything right in that department. Um, so I think that's great. And I'm going to post a link down in the description if you want to read more about UK and the snooze factor. Anybody snooze? Anybody snoozers? I like snooze. Uh, snuff powder is actually really bad for you, but snooze is a pasteurized tobacco. And it's, uh, I mean, it's an order of magnitude less harmful for you than uh, burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So unfortunately, let's turn our attention to the United States for just a second. Washington, D.C., D.C. City Council votes to prohibit flavored vapes. Cool, man. Cool. District of Columbia voted 9-3 to Tuesday to prohibit the sale of flavored vaping and tobacco products, including menthol cigarettes and cigars. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Now, there's a certain stigma and connotation in the United States that I don't see in a lot of other countries, but... We've had a lot of, mm, let's say, unnecessary interactions between people and police officers that have resulted in some pretty bad things. Dude named Eric Garner was just killed in the street in New York for selling loose cigarettes. They call them Lucy's. And the reason that that interaction even needed to happen was he was selling untaxed cigarettes. Do not come between a state and its tax revenue, or they will literally kill you for that tax revenue. That's hyper illegal selling loose cigarettes. Now this was seen, you know, this was an unnecessary interaction that didn't need to happen. Now they say that things like Flavor bans and menthol bans are only going to be enforced at the manufacturer level. 
And that's all well and good, but that doesn't reduce the demand for vapor products or menthol cigarettes in any capacity, as we will read. Washington DC bill is typical of recent flavor bans. I'm reading here from Vaping 360, Jim McDonald, prohibiting characterizing flavors other than tobacco. The law also includes synthetic nicotine products and seems broad enough to capture nicotine pouches, which contain no tobacco and are only available in non-tobacco flavors. So Washington DC is so scared of nicotine Ban it all, ban it all. If, if it'll help a smoker, ban it. The only thing that we want on the market in the United States, especially in our nation's capital in Washington, DC, is tobacco flavored combustible cigarettes. Smoke up America, smoke up. No less harmful alternatives for you, nope. Just like there's no non-alcoholic beer <laughs> that doesn't exist. No less harmful alternatives, no seat belts, no headlights, no shoes, no less harmful alternatives. And like I said, there's a, there's a certain stigma around this and I don't like to wade into a lot of political stuff, but there's a certain thing that this law enforcement, unnecessary interactions with minorities and people of color. This is a thing that stems from bands like this. We had an unfortunate event in Maryland recently where dude got straight up tased, hogtied and arrested for vaping on the boardwalk. That was an interaction that didn't need to happen. Banning menthol is not going to make the demand for menthol products go away, said Sergeant Anthony Miranda of the Latino National Police Officers Association. We know this because illegal drugs are used by people in every community in every state across the country. Where there is a high demand, an illegal market will fill the void if a legal regulated market does not. Bans and prohibitions do not work. They actually create crime. And these are, these are, you know, tobacco control groups like Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids are in favor of things like this, knowing how they will get enforced. That's how laws get enforced, with force. <laughs> That's how you enforce a law, with force. That's why when you speed, you get pulled over, you get fined, you get a ticket. That's the force. That's how they get in, that's how they get, uh, And look, we tried to warn everybody about this. We tried to warn people about black markets. We tried to warn people about unnecessary interactions between law enforcement and, and citizens. And they're just not stopping. And they're just not, not, not paying attention. It drives me insane. The flavor ban justified as a way to reduce teenage vaping and smoking is unlikely to have much effect except to damage legitimate small businesses. DC residents live just minutes away from states like Virginia and Maryland where flavored vapes and cigarettes are still legal. Additionally, a recent Yale study showed that flavored vape bans in San Francisco made high school students more likely to smoke combustible cigarettes. Yeah, it's infuriating when you see politicians making a bad decision and you warn them and go, here's what's gonna happen. Smoking is going to go up and you're going to have a real thriving black market. And then they go, no, 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 that would never happen. Though That is crazy talk. And then they institute these laws and then the exact thing you warn them about happens. And then other states and other cities look at that and go, hey, that was a huge failure. Let's implement the same policy here. Hopefully get some kids smoking again. Sorry, just really sticks in my craw. So... Whatever, the DC City Council, here's something else that sticks in my crawl. I'll have a link down in the description. DC, ban vapes, all right, great. Um, this guy, Raja Krishnamurthy in the United States is getting my award. This is the only time I've ever handed out this award. Worst person in the world. Worst person in the world award goes to Congressman, Senator Raja Krishnamurthy. This guy has done more Democrat 
oversight, subcommittee, hearings about vaping than anybody else in the world. And he just keeps dragging people up into these hearings. And look, he drags our acting FDA commissioner, Janet Woodcock up there. And I'm not saying that Janet Woodcock committed perjury under oath, but she definitely agreed with a lie under oath. So I don't know what that means. This is a two hour YouTube video, Dem Democratic Oversight Committee, subcommittee on the youth vaping epidemic in America. And so Raja gets up there and lobs all of these weird ass softball lies at Janet Woodcock and says, you know, things like, oh, uh, FDA, you know, has said that youth vaping will lead to youth doing worse things like combustible cigarettes. Do you believe that to be true? And she goes, yes, I believe that to be true. That's a lie. That's a lie. There's, if that were true, we wouldn't have the lowest youth smoking rates in the history of our country, in the history of recorded time. We wouldn't have the lowest adult smoking rates in the history of recorded time. And they just keep going down until you limit vaping, like in San Francisco and Massachusetts, and then they go back up. We're going to talk about them going back up. Janet Woodcock said yes to a lie under oath. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's perjury or not. I don't know if that's perjury or not. Raja Krishnamurthy seems to have like no education or knowledge about vaping or nicotine or smoking or harm reduction or the way that this technology works or the people that use this technology. He doesn't seem to care about anyone that can actually vote for him. All he cares about is protecting the kids from nicotine. It's the only thing he cares about protecting the kids from nicotine. It's his whole platform. He has done like six of these oversight committee hearings on the youth vaping epidemic where he just drags the same people up over and over and over again. He demands that the FDA circumvent their own regulatory process to appease him. He has called multiple times during the pandemic to rid the market of vaping and e-cigarettes based on another lie that vaping and e-cigarettes make you, you know, worse off for COVID-19 symptoms. And that is a, just a bald face lie. Raza Krishnamurthy, worst person in the world, does not care about his adult constituents, only, can take, only cares about those that cannot vote for him. All he cares about is the kids. Now, here's the thing. I didn't want to show this quote, but I'm going to show this quote. The state must declare the child to be the most precious treasure of the people. As long as the government is perceived as working for the benefit of the children, the people will happily endure almost any curtailment of liberty and almost every deprivation. I'm not even going to say the name of the person who said that. In fact, here we go. This is actually, here, we're going to move this. That's the worst person in the world. The person that said that is actually the, <laughs> actually the worst person in the world. But that doesn't seem to stop Senator Raja Krishnamurthy because all he cares about is the kids. And if you are not going to help the kids, then you are a bad American. Yeah, you're a deplorable. You are the bottom rung of society. Raja Krishnamurthy doesn't care about your harm to your body or your addiction or your dependence. No, only the children. He has declared that the child is the most precious treasure of all the people. He is perceived as working for the benefit of the children. So yeah, as long as you do that, now, this is actually the worst person in the world right there over that quote. In fact, I don't even want this quote on the screen anymore. And we're going to put worst person over the world in the world back over Raja Krishnamurthy. I'll post a link in the description where you can watch two hours of just pure rage filled anger. If you want to watch it, the U.S. is in a, a real crummy place right now with vaping. My only hope right now lies in the U.K. and COP9 happening this November. That's it. That's it. Meanwhile, in the f***ing U.K.
Okay, so uh, let, let me start wrapping this up. There, Newsweek, you guys, holy shit, Newsweek reported number of adult cigarette smokers increased during COVID. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, oh, I'm supposed to be surprised by this. Okay, tobacco use and the percentage of adult cigarette smokers increased in several parts of the country during the COVID-19 pandemic, reversing a 20-year trend which saw smoking decline by 16% since 1999. <gasps> Holy shit, 20-year trend. Let's see, 20-year trend of smoking dropping. Vaping has been around for 15 of those 20 years. 15 of those 20 years. This was a study survey, I should say, survey uh, done in Cincinnati by the University of Cincinnati's Institute for Policy Research. They said one in 10 smokers who had previously quit relapsed into smoking during the pandemic. One in 10 who had already quit relapsed into smoking. I wonder, I wonder why that is. I wonder why, I wonder why they relapsed into smoking. It goes on to say that, uh, look at this part right here. Number one cause of death. Numerous British studies conducted over the past year found that smokers were more likely to suffer severe variants of respiratory ailments from SARS-CoV-2, which produces COVID-19. No, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Confidently, no, they didn't. You know how I know they didn't? because I know they didn't, and the numerous British studies, so numerous, <laughs> so numerous, in fact, Newsweek, that you couldn't even link to one of them, couldn't even link to one study, not even another news outlet reporting on the study. You just say, nope, numerous British studies, and we don't have to have citations or link to any of them, but just trust Newsweek that numerous British studies conducted over the last year. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Goes on to say, several recently released studies in Europe revealed data which shows that the tobacco industry capitalized on the pandemic to promote nicotine. Whoa, those terrible tobacco companies promoting nicotine. The problem is when you go to the study, look what this study says. How harm reduction advocates and the tobacco industry capitalized on the pandemic to promote nicotine. How completely wholly disingenuous is that? Harm reduction advocates, you're talking shit on a group that's called harm reduction advocates. We, re we advocate for reducing the harm in your life. <laughs> but oh, we capitalized on the pandemic to promote nicotine. This whole... No, who's calling me from Nevada right now? I guess that's the downside of streaming during the day. I just get weird phone calls. Harm reduction advocates were promoting nicotine. Harm reduction advocates were promoting not smoking cigarettes. Harm reduction advocates were promoting safer, clean forms of nicotine. This study, this, this study that they did is only critical of funding. That's all this study is about. They're talking about how oh, all so many, they, they drag a uh, Constantinos Farsalinos, who we know we're familiar with Constantinos Farsalinos, dragging him through the mud, talking about how he received a, le a fee from AMSA, the American E-Liquid e -Liquid Manufacturing Standards Association. So because Farsalinos is pro-vaping and he received money from AMSA, oh, all of Farsalinos' science is just not credible now. Not credible. Science can't stand on its own because a manufacturing standards association gave him money. He dra They drag tobacco harm reduction through the mud. They talk about THR advocates are really just nicotine zealots that want you to, that want to get everybody hooked on nicotine. There's a little quote in here from the World Health Organization. The World Health Organization does not endorse THR, warns policymakers that electronic devices also pose a health risk. It is said of e-cigarettes, there is insufficient data to understand the full breadth of their impact on health as the devices have not been on the market long enough. I agree. 15 years is not long enough. Not long enough. These devices are so new. 
we don't have 10,000 studies plus on them. And 15 years is not enough time to decide if they're a net benefit to public health, unless you talk to the Royal College of Physicians, the National Institutes of Health, the World Health Organization, you know, European office, the U.S. National Academies of Science and Engineering and Medicine, uh, you know, the American Medical Association, the American Heart Association, the American Lung Association, literally all of the science. Then, yeah, maybe they haven't quite been around long enough. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. So because of the relentless attacks on less harmful alternatives like vaping, smoking is up again in the United States for literally the first time in like 20 fucking years. Congratulations, public health. Congratulations, tobacco control. We're, let's just get everybody smoking again. Yeah. All right. That's it. That's that's enough rage for me. I'm going to wrap up this news and advocacy. I'll put links all crazy throughout the description down there if you want to read up on anything I just talked about. If you're in Canada, I really would encourage you to to jump on that like rights for vapors. There's a nicotine ban, there's a flavor ban coming for Canada. There's a flavor ban coming. We're smacking nude Zact on NL. Yeah, we're going to leave this here. Smacking nude Zact on NL flavor ban coming for the Netherlands. It's a rough world out there, you know? And all I'm really looking forward to, one more time, shout out. Meanwhile, in the f***ing UK. Meanwhile, in the UK, they're sending doctors and scientists to the World Health Organization COP9 meeting and are basically going to hold World Health Organization accountable for their continuing denial of science and their continuing denial of tobacco harm reduction. And that's really all I'm looking for. That is my nugget of hope for the future of vaping across the globe. It's all up to the UK. Meanwhile, in the f***ing UK. Shout out to uh, Andy. Andy for that sound clip. So that's it. That's Let's wrap up the news and advocacy. I'll have links down in the description. I think I saw a few more super chats come in. So what say you? Nope, that's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, I don't remember where I left off. Shit, I thought I was up here. Oh, that's right. Sortiel. Sortiel. Vape fam D&D game sounds awesome, but everyone will want their character to be named Jubbies. <laughs> yeah, so here's the way that we can solve that is if everybody wants to be named Jubbies, we can just call, you know, we'll make a rule that nobody, uh, nobody can be named Jubbies, but like, Maybe the land, you know, the forest of Jubbies or Mount Jubbies or something, or like the castle of Jubbies. Like we can work Jubbies into the D&D campaign easily. <laughs> uh, Dimlet Knight says, hell yeah, D&D, I'm so down. I've been trying to make a spore druid for many moons. Hey, you're into the druids, are you? Dimlet, I'm down. We actually really need to organize this. How do we do a D&D campaign like on the internet? That'd be fun. Uh, vape in case, Pink Floyd just commanded me to do this. Pink Floyd hooking a brother up. Appreciate that. Vape in case. Uh, Joshy, my gosh, he says, shout out to Mech Soldier getting my Daedalus today. Hell yeah, Mech Soldier. I've seen Mech Soldier in my chat constantly. Glad, glad to see he hooked you up with that tray. Ampersand, that's very gracious of you. Hi, Nick. Good morning. Hope everything is going great. Thanks for all you do and for the vape community. Keep rocking and rolling. Catch you on the replay later today. Yes, you will, Ampersand. Yes, you will. Appreciate you coming out this early. It's only 1030. Holy crap. We've been going for an hour and a half. That's not real. Is that real? We still have so many more things to do. Um... Appreciate that, Ampersand. Eifer says, I just realized my seven-year vape anniversary passed on the 17th. Seven years. Eifer, Eifer. Seven years. Uh, how great is that? I mean, congratulations. It just happened so quick. You know, it happened for me really quick. It's like a few days started turning into weeks, started turning into months, and it was like, holy shit. And, and you know, in 2010, I celebrated my first year vape anniversary, and it was like, I have not had a cigarette in a year. Fuck yeah, like that, I don't know, that just feels so good. Aaron, that's very gracious of you. So glad to be here this evening. Just asked my boss whether I could finish early and catch a UK vlog. He said, 
So long as you give Nick a fiver. Oh, Aaron, I appreciate that, bro. I love you, man. Thank And shout out to your boss as well. 100%. 100%. Oh, we got Jake Scrapwood in the, ca in the house. Hold the kids accountable for their choices. Holy shit. Wait. Wait. What? If something is illegal for a kid to do and they do it, you're telling me we should punish them? No. What kind of message does that send, Jake? What kind of message does that send where if a kid does something illegal and we punish them, that's not fair to them. They didn't know it had <laughs> they didn't know it had nicotine. They were tricked by Jewel because of the colors. Remember the colors tricked the kids into vaping and it's not their fault. Aaron Mills, precious little angel would never have done that if it wasn't for the evil, evil, evil nicotine vape agenda. Right? <laughs> I'm a parent and I say F them kids and their record teach that there is consequences for their actions. Jake, Fucking A, thank you for being such a raz reasonable, rational adult. Who would have thought? Just, I remember getting in plenty of trouble when I was a kid. I did shitty stuff all the time. I got punished hard. Sunstone, Sunstone Custom Knives, Raja Krishnamurthy is an oxygen thief. Yeah, Raja Krishnamurthy is an oxygen thief. Raja Krishnamurthy is just a waste of skin. He's just human walking garbage human walking garbage. Jan, that's very gracious of you. Nice to see you all. Totally German times. Oh, j tolerably German times. Yes. I didn't even think that this would be like a good time slot for Germany too. And like the Netherlands and all of Europe, it's like, whoa, okay. I might have to keep this like a much more regular thing. I kind of like this early morning stream. I'm really into it, you guys. I'm really into it. So let's move forward. Let's have another bio break. Let's get into some uh, mail. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that was backwards. Um, I'm going to go take a bio break. Let's listen to some chill beats. I'll be right back. ready for the big box who's ready for the big box yeah who's ready for the big box who adrian are you ready for the big box derek are you ready for the big box derek uh later today if if uh casey pickle ever jumps in the zoom room ask her about her dream she had we went on our walk this morning and she's like Derek was in my dream last night. I was like, wait, Derek, like yo, yo, Derek R was in your dream last night. She's like, yeah, we were at a guar show. And she told me this whole dream, dude. <laughs> she has to tell you this whole dream. You were in her dream last night. Stay out of my wife's dreams, Derek. All right. Uh, mail, mail call. And here's the thing. This is heavy. It's, it's, this box is legitimately heavy. Tribal Buddha's here. Tribal Buddha's here. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to open it last there, Tribal. Appreciate you, though. I got some, some smaller packages to get through. 
I don't want to know what's in this box, do I? Or maybe I do. I have no reason to believe it's not going to be completely awesome. But, uh, sh Todd! 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 I have a package from Todd. I need people to write their, like, you know, YouTube internet names on here. Oh, TT! TT Vape! TT Vape! TT Vape! Yo, yo, hey, bro. Hey, Nick. Uh, here is that Stormtrooper button. I threw in something special for you. I, in, uh, I included a set of my four core 29 gauge aliens. Thanks for all your advocacy and uplifting personality. The button is made by at Opium Resin Art. Opium Resin Art from the fucking... Oh. Where did my, where did my sound go? Meanwhile, in the fucking UK... In the UK, uh, please shout him out to, yeah, act, absolutely, at Opium Resin Art. Opium Resin Art on Instagram. TT Vape. Bro, thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's in a mic. It's in a clutch. Holy shit. Holy shit. Why did you send me a red clutch, bro? Why? Why did you do that? You don't have to do that. I love the clutch. Look at that stormtrooper button. Oh shit, look at that stormtrooper button, bro. Look at that shit. Opium resin art on Instagram. Look at that stormtrooper clutch button, bro. That is sick. That is sick. Can I put this on? Can I put this on my clutch X18? I really want to put this on my clutch X18. Can I please put it on my clutch X18? Thank you, TT Vape. That's totally awesome of you. I don't see any coils. I didn't see any coils. Are they in here? Let's see. They're probably... Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. There's the coils. There's the coils. TT Vapes. 20, oh, quad 29 gauge core, 38 gauge, two and a half millimeter, 1.13 TT vape coils. Thank you, TT vape. That's fucking awesome. I don't, I can't keep this clutch though. I have a clutch and I have a clutch X18, bro. I can't keep your clutch. I'll use it for a bit. I'll use it. I'll use your clutch for a bit. Maybe we can give it away. Maybe we can share the love like within the Patreon. Maybe I'll, I'll get this to some, another patron or something. But I'm keeping that button for sure. Shout out Opium... What was that? Opium Resin Custom... Shit. Shit! I already messed it up. Opium Resin Art. Opium Resin Art. Can you see that? Opium Resin Art. Look at TT Vape's terrible handwriting. Opium Resin Art on Instagram. He does those buttons... Wait, hang on. I'm going to need to find this guy right now because if I don't find this guy right now, I'm going to forget that he exists and I want to see his dope buttons. So Instagram, opium, opium resin art. Flip. Fuck yeah, opium resin art. Giving you a follow. Oh, I'm already following you. All right, sick. I'm already following you, opium resin art. But seriously, some of these doors, like some of these panels are hella. Look at that thing. That's kind of rad as hell. All right. Shout out Opium Resin Art. Thank you for that button, TT Vape. That is very super cool. Very super cool of you, bro. I, I know these are coils. I know that these are coils for sure. Oh, Duchess. 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 These are some Duchess MTL coils, some Duchess Aliens. Duchess MTL Aliens, triple 32 gauge core, 38 gauge, uh, nichrome 80, two and a half millimeter, six wrap. MTL coils. And then we got some Duchess Aliens, three millimeter, five wrap. Duchess, your aliens. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm real proud of Duchess coils. He gets proud of me because I've been building lately, but I get proud of Duchess because he's been my patron for a little bit and I got some of his really early coils and they were fine coils, but you could tell it's like he's gotten so much better in his building. Like even just over the last few months, like Duchess coils are these tight little precise little things now. And it's just, it's, it's cool. It's cool, man. 
I like seeing uh, I like seeing people succeed, and I like uh, I like that Duchess vape like royalty. So yeah, get on there on Instagram. Check check out some Duchess coils if you're into it. He makes some banging coils, banging coils, vape like royalty. Duchess coils, and I even got a little cotton bacon prime, which I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep. Don't think I'm throwing that away. I'm keeping that. Kept. Uh, this, so this was something that I popped open. I don't remember how far. Yeah, I think I got this all the way open from you well. And this is these new. Look, tell me what you think of this, okay? My original you well Aglios video did terribly. Nobody's interested in this product, but there's a new one. There's a new Aglios, and it kind of looks like. Every, it kind of looks like Vupu stuff, right? I didn't get a trash bag, damn it. It's okay. It looks like the... Uh... <sighs> yeah, it kind of it kind of looks like the Vupu stuff. Like Vupu Drag, Vupu Drag X. Looks a little Vupu Drag x -y. It's even got like a magnetic tank on there yeah we're looking a little vupu drag x -y. look if it's better than the vupu drag x or the drag x plus then i don't know we'll see it's one of those things i'll just put it through its paces is this an internal battery no 21 700 18 650 i think this isn't it i think he took his wallet i think this is an 18 650 yeah, single 18650. Uh, nice screen. All right. All right, Aglios. Let's see if we can... Uh, maybe someone will watch this Aglios video. It wasn't a very good product to begin with. I mean, it was fine. Anyway, new UL Aglios, which here's the thing. UL's hit and miss. Like, I love the Havoc. I don't love certain things. I love. I didn't love the Aglios, but I love the Whirl, and then I love the Havoc, and now we have this new Aglios here. I don't know what what that's all about. You well, man, hit and miss, hit and miss with you well. I M O. Yeah, it does kind of look embogly. It looks like a Drag X SX Mini clone. It, it does. It kind of does. But here's the thing. I don't really care so much about that. I just want it to work well. You know. Like if it vapes rad and it feels good in the hand and it's like, it's got power and there's no lag or there's no delay or, you know, if, if you don't have to wake this up, like you do the gene chip stuff, I'll probably already like it more than the Vupu stuff. Cause you have to constantly wake up the Vupu chip. I know Anthony Ramella, Anthony Ramella, he provides trash bags and I don't even use them. Yeah. He sends me trash bags. And I don't even use them. Just today. Just today is the one day I didn't get to. I like going back and forth between coffee, beer, and water. Interesting. Makes for an interesting uh, interesting sensation there. I might have all the substances today. Caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine. I'll just should I take a big rip on my vape pen too, and then we can have all the substances in our body. All right. All right. Buddha. Tribal Buddha. Where you at, Tribal Buddha? Are you here? We're, we're doing the package. We're doing the big box. Peace out, Jason. We're doing the big box. Anthony Ramella. Oh, I thought I thought you were leaving, Jason. You're still here? If Jason's still here, we can open the package. All right. It says fragile, handle with care. It's gigantic. Um, blood work. What's up from the United States? Thank you for being here, buddy. It's heavy. That's the problem is it's heavy. I mean, it's not terribly heavy, but it's still heavy. So I'm going to take my illegal in California knife and we're going to open this. Anthony Ramella, he's a hell of a fella. I'm going to laugh tremendously if it's like, if there's like uh, just a, a bottle of liquid in here, just one bottle of e-liquid, 
And then, and then he puts like weights. <laughs> Enjoy your bottle of e-liquid. It's like duct taped. Green bubble wrap. What? What the hell even is that? I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh! Wait! No, okay. Okay. I think it's just paper in here. I don't want to lose anything, you know. There's a note, okay. See, I kept, there was a note in here. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I got all the paper out, but there is a note. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Stop that. Stop this right now. Steve, AKA Tribal Buddha. This is for you to enjoy. What? Are you kidding me, Steve? All right, let me read this. I'm going to I'm going to end up getting emotional, Steve, you son of a bitch. This is for you to enjoy. I made this back in 2015. Well, built it as a better way to put it. We share a bunch in common. Both are bass players who are switching to guitar. Uh, correct. We both love metal. We both love guar. We've both been vaping a hell of a long time. Too many to list. I have been with you since 2013 and vaping since 07 when I started with a V2 Sig alike, but I digress. This is my custom made Franken axe. I've enclosed the technical details of it. No, I did not do the finish on the body. I took a pre-finished body and worked it from there. Enjoy it. In the front pouch of the case is a few retro vape RDAs. I'm pretty sure you've never reviewed these as they span a few years ago. I also added a couple Nichrome 80 fuse Claptons I made for you for the Watofo RDA. They fit perfect in there. Thanks for all the things you do for vaping and your followers and being you because that's what's real Steve Steve are you joking with me right now I don't even know what to say right now Steve I don't even know what to say right now this is incredible I've never been What the actual fuck? What? Steve, I can't, I don't. I can't, I can't take, I can't accept this. You gave me a guitar. You gave me a guitar that you built, bro. I don't, how can I even? I don't even know how to open this case. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless right now. I'm literally speechless right now. I have no speech. Steve. 
tribal Buddha, Steve, I can't even, I don't even know what to say, bro. Seriously, like, it's such a, that is a huge gesture, man. And I don't, I, thank you. I feel like I definitely do not deserve this. I feel like I definitely do not deserve this. But thank you, Steve. Like, I am, you're going to, you're going to make me gently sob right now. And you know you are, and you knew that was going to happen, didn't you? You're like, I'm going to make Grim Green gently sob. It's beautiful. It's be I've never loved a guitar this much, bro. It's beautiful. And it's got, it's like, and it's, and it's your guitar. Like that is what is really impacting me the most right now. Like a guitar is just a guitar and I could go buy a hundred dollar guitar at guitar center, but it's not going to have like that same front pouch RDAs, front pouch RDAs. It's not going to have that same like sentimental. I'm, I'm, I'm moved. I'm moved. I can't say anything else or I'm going to, I'm going to gently start sobbing, but I'm thoroughly moved by this gift. I'm gonna hear some uh, perfectly tuned, obviously. Not even in a drop tuning. Bro, I don't even know what to say, Steve. I mean, thank you. This is this is more than this is this is more than I deserve, certainly. And uh I, I can't thank you enough. I, I, I can't I can't thank you enough. I'm gonna write uh I'm gonna write a whole mess of just really slow, doomy stoner songs on this just for you. I'm gonna bring back my one man band called Molten Children. <laughs> I'm uh and now I need a guitar stand. Dude, I need a guitar stand like right here. Boom! Guitar stand. I can't uh I don't know. I don't even know what I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> Holy shit, Steve. Holy fucking shit. I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're gonna want this back. Okay, hang on. I'm just trying to you know, get this in here. I want to protect it. But I heard that there's some RDAs in this front strap here, in this front pocket. Oh, there's three RDAs in here. What? And some coils? Steve, I don't even... Steve, thank you. I owe you. I will. Marno, I will. Ne I will. Soon. We're going to play some music. That is, you. yeah, next level mail, Steve. You've taken the vape mail to a whole other weird, weird place that is, I'm not, I, thank you. That's all I can say right now is literally thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my goddamn vapor-filled heart. Thank you. Let's have a vape. Let's let's vape real quick with uh let's vape real qu let's let's hydrate with uh Liam real quickly because I'm running low. Yeah, needed that hydration, needed a vape, needed some water. I'm going to, I'm going to play guitar today. <laughs> I'm going to tune the shit out of this thing and I'm going to go plug into my orange amp and I'm going to play guitar today. Tribal Buddha. Thank you. I mean, I don't, I, I don't even know how to thank you. Thank you. If you ever need anything from me, you want some pony on acid It's yours. 
You want a Mac, it's yours. You want a mod, it's yours. You want an RDA, it's yours. Just thank you. I can't even believe that. I can't even believe that. Yeah, you want the Molten Children box set? Listen, I only wrote five songs. They were all amazing. There's a longer version of this letter that I'm going to read uh, after the vlog. But it's got all of the specs. Okay, Fender Squire, Stratocaster neck, Ibanez G, uh, GSA-60, wood body with sunburst, two Squire single coil pickups, Fender Stratocaster. Uh, one 2019 Les Paul humbucker pickup at the bridge. Steve, this is... Steve, just thank you, Tribal Buddha. The second page at the vlog. You want wait? You want me to read the second page right now? I'll I'll read this whole story. You want me to read this right now, Tribal Buddha? I'll read it. it bad, so badass, right, Fishy? Hey, buddy, how you doing? I thought you were at work. Uh, he okay. He says his neighbor was one of the original members of the Dead Milkmen before they hit it big. We were jamming out front one night acoustically, and I mentioned he wanted I mentioned I wanted to build one, so he offered me the finished body and neck. He didn't know who made the body and the neck is a squire bullet neck by Fender. It's really thin and quite comfortable to move up and down when doing scales, plus fits the body really well. I'm a warm, funny fuzzy kind of guy. So Gibson, so I'm a Gibson person as opposed to the sharp crisp twang of a Fender, and I wanted to marry these two to make it a very versatile guitar for any preference. So I did my research and ordered all the parts to go to building. It took me about a month on and off to put together um, and perfect it. And this is the product. It's one of a kind and the only one I've ever made. Now I'm passing it on to you because it's just too heavy for me. I broke my back in 2003 and that elect effectively ended my band days. This will keep, this will keep going tribal Buddha. This will keep going. I wanted someone who loves it, and, uh, who loves what I love and can appreciate it, what I've created. And I couldn't bring myself to sell it. Do you want me to buy it from you, dude? <laughs> Uh, so after some deep thought, I realized you were exactly the type of person I'd like to see with it. It's yours to enjoy. I only ask that if you decide you don't want it anymore, give it to someone who will appreciate it. I own two electric basses, two electric acoustic basses, an acoustic guitar, and a Gibson Les Paul special two electric guitar. So I'm not shorting myself anything by giving this to you. I'm putting the technical specs so you have a rundown. Can I get that rundown, Jim? Thank you. Tribal Buddha, I don't know if you know like how happy this makes me feel. How happy this makes me feel. Sorry. Humbucker pickup, I added 0 0.1 250 volt Mullard Tropical Fish Tone Capacitor rating. What? Here, here's what I need to know about this guitar. Can I down tune it to like drop C and then just put like the Doomcaster pedal on it so it just sounds like a jet engine. That's what I'm after. That's what I'm after. The RDAs, okay. Tokugawa. Okay, look, we got some retro vape stuff here. Oh, I didn't have this Tokugawa. Never tried that Tokugawa. But I got a Tokugawa RDA here. There is a Wato what a Watofo Ice Three. Oh, holy shit! Look at that top cap, baby. That's the Watofo Ice Three. Fuck yeah, Wat <laughs> Watofo Ice. These are gonna be great, bro. These are gonna be perfect for retro vapings. Reverie RDA. So, I did have a Reverie RDA. I never loved the Reverie RDA. But hey, that's okay. We can give it a solid retro vaping time. We can give that a solid retro vaping. Steve, thank you like more than, than you know, man. Thank you. I'm going to be playing this guitar today. I'm going to be playing this guitar today. Tokugawa is one of the OGs of RDAs. I have two old Tokugawa RDAs, but I don't have this one that has side... This one looks like it has side and bottom airflow. 
Never had that. Never had that. Awesome. What? This has been an epically spectacular mail segment. You guys want to start a band? Tribal Buddha. <laughs> you want to start a band? Oh, the Ice Cubed. Ah, that's why there's the little three there. Ice Cubed, you see? Ice Cubed. Uh, Scott, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even... I feel like I don't deserve that. And at the same time, I'm so overjoyed to have it. And it just, it means a lot to me. I want you to know that, Tribal Buddha. Scott, it means a lot to me. That really means a tremendous amount to me. Which one's a unicorn? The Reverie, the Ice, or the Tokugawa? We're going to get through all of these in retro vapings, though. Definitely all of them. That's the end of the beer. Do uh, you guys want to do a liquid tasting or getting to know Grim Green? Since we have a guitar out, we might as well keep talking about music and we might as well do some getting to know Grim Green. I feel like that's the way to go. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I should have done a bio break during that time. That's okay. Hi. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Getting to Know Grim Green. You guys know about smackandnudesack.nl? Because you're going to want to head there. You're going to want to head there if you're in the Netherlands and you don't want a flavor ban. Um, unbelievably appreciated, Tribal Buddha. Unbelievably appreciated. Starting a vlog band. We're going to be inspired by this band right here. So... Welcome to Getting to Know Grim Green. This is where we talk about music. Yeah. Uh, mostly just the music that has affected me in my life and influenced me in my life and bands that I just love. We have an ongoing Spotify playlist called uh, Getting to Know Grim Green, The Jams. And it's on Spotify. I'll link it down below. We're, back. We're over like 80 songs now, I think. 80 songs? Eight zero songs, which is bananas. And we're going to be adding two new songs to the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. I felt, I felt like the playlist needed a little bit more metal. Felt like the playlist needed a little bit more metal in it. So we're going to inject some hot French metal into this Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. Talking about this band right here. Anybody recognize this album cover? No? No? All right. Well, this is an album called Magma, and it's from a band called Gojira, and I love Gojira. How do you not love Gojira? I love Gojira. Gojira was one of those bands that I just heard Gojira for the very first time uh, when From Mars to Sirius came out. I think this was, I don't remember dates. Who remembers dates? When did From Mars to Sirius come out? Uh, 2005? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 2005 from Mars to Sirius comes out. And when from Mars to Sirius came out, I was so blown away by this metal album that I just, I wanted to tell everybody that I knew about this, about this album, like anybody that was into like rock or metal in any way. I was like, Gojira, 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 Mars to Sirius, Gojira, I'm like Mars to Sirius. I'll burn you a copy. Did you want a copy? I'll send you the MP3s. Gojira, Mars to Sirius. You have to listen to this album. Mars to Sirius, Gojira incredible. And I love that they were a French metal band because you don't, I don't know. I feel like that's not a peculiar thing, but you know, there's metal that's associated with certain areas in the United States. It's like Florida death metal scene in the nineties, you know? And then you hear it's like Finland and metal and Sweden and metal and Norway and metal. And you don't really hear like French death metal used in the same sentence so very often, but thankfully the biggest export out of France, as far as death metal goes, Gojira effing kills it. Kills it. Gojira is a metal band that you can't not love. If you're into metal and you've heard Gojira, you know they're so good. You can't not love Gojira. So I loved Gojira and I loved Gojira. And I loved Gojira when like, I was really into music piracy. <laughs> I spent all of my time on things like LimeWire and SoulSeek, where it's just you're downloading five to six albums every single night. 
And you're just, you know, there's so much music you can't even listen to it all. It's like you don't have enough time in the day to listen to all of the music that you're downloading. But Gojira stuck out amongst the mountains of music I was downloading. It was like Mars to Sirius. And then so I just instantly became a Gojira fan. So I like went and listened to their older stuff. I'm like, ah, so it's pretty good. Le Font Suffuge, I think, is my favorite Gojira album. This particular album, Magma, isn't necessarily my favorite, favorite Gojira album, but it's an it's the only Gojira album I own on vinyl because this album came out 2016 and I was just a huge Gojira fan. And this was one of those instances where, you know, Facebook or Instagram or somewhere served me like the right ad and Gojira's like, pre-order of our new album magma and you get the cd and you get the vinyl and you get the mp3s and you get a hoodie and you get two t-shirts and you get a flag and i was like yes sign me up for the gojira magma just super fan pack i want it if a band when bands do that i can't not do it i have to do it when guar did it i did it when clutch does it i did it when mxpx did it i did it when gojira did it i did it <laughs> That's how you get my money. Release a super fan pack that's like, not just the record, the CD, a t-shirt, a hoodie, a hat, a snapback, a bandana, a flag, a disc mat, a toilet seat cover, car tires. You know, it's like, I want it all. Give me the super fan pack. So I have this on vinyl, but that's again, not because it's my favorite Gojira record, but just because I'm a super fan and I bought the super fan pack. And that's why we have Gojira Magma. And really, this is just a banging album from top to bottom. It's not necessarily special or sentimental to me. It's just a really, really good Gojira album. So the two songs, the two songs that we're going to put on the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist are track number two. It's called Silvera. You can't not love this song. If you're into metal, you can't not love Silvera. And then we're going to put Magma, the title track, Magma and Silvera on the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. It's a banging playlist. And now we've added a little bit more metal to it. You know, this is for Duchess. I'm trying to get more metal on there for people like Duchess, for people like Poonsauce, who are just like, if it doesn't have pig squeals in it, it's it's crap. One of my favorite things about this particular Gojira album is, oh, come on. That's gold vinyl, bro. That is gold vinyl, bro. In fact, you can kind of see the crinkles un of the gold foil like underneath the record. It gives it like a texture to it. Come on. That's rad as hell. That's my favorite part of this record other than, you know, obviously the music contained within. So those two tracks are going on the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. Down, I'll have that linked down below. It's just all my favorite tunes literally of all time. And I love Gojira, you know, and I love metal. And the whole playlist, like, it's real. It's not just metal. Like, yeah, there's a lot of metal on it, but it's Warren Zevon on it. We got Witchcraft on it. We got Paramore on it. Bunch of Paramore songs on it. Good stuff. Anyway. So that's a little bit about me. I love Gojira. And if you love Gojira, then you know what? We just became a little bit better of friends. Yeah, 100%. I'm going to run the super chats, but then it, I broke the seal. I'm going to have to, let's just do this. Let's do them super chats. And then, and only then, will I get to go take a bio break. We can do that. Um, where the F did I leave off? Uh, yeah. Eifer says we can play over zoom and or discord. Okay. Look, if we can do a D and D campaign on zoom, let's plan it and let's do a D and D campaign. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played in a really long time, probably like sixth grade, I think was the maybe, maybe eighth grade was the last time I played D and D. Late to the party, but how was the breakfast beer this morning? Poon sauce. We had uh, Sasquatch from 903 Brewing. Spectacular. Creamy. It was creamy, Poon sauce. Creamy. 
Uh, the wee baby Seamus watching you open this gift makes us all remember why we love you. You appreciate us as much as we appreciate you. You deserve it, bro. Yo, yo. Well, thank you. Wee baby Seamus. You're not look, you're not wrong. I really do appreciate you guys on, on an, on a grand scale, on an epic level. I, I have a guitar. Who the fuck am I to have a guitar to, to be gifted a guitar? It's a crazy world we live in, you guys. Thank you for being a part of it. Sean, that's very gracious of you. I may finally made it to something live. I've been watching you for years on replay. Sorry, Sheik. Oh, Sean. Pulling out the old memes from the Grim Green streams. I used to apologize to Mr. Sheik every time I burped. Because he just said burping makes him sad. So I was like, oh, look, I don't want to make you sad. Fishy, you're on at work on your lunch, but I had to make it to the stream. Hope I hear you playing guitar in the hangs. We'll see, man. If I can get this tuned up, we can jam. We can jam. Zach, uh, are your bumpers still backwards or am I insane? Only a few of them were. I switched most of them back to normal, but most a few of them were, were still backwards. Yeah. Mike, uh, just followed the playlist being a huge metal fan and Gojira. Yeah, bro, Gojira. In fact, here, here's a story about Gojira. I saw Gojira most recently open for Metallica and they sounded amazing. And Gojira looked really out of place on such a big stage. You know, Metallica, they're used to playing on real big stages. Gojira didn't know what to do on this big stage. They're just running around like crazy. They're all over the place. They're like, oh, we got this big stage. Let's run around. And they sounded incredible. Years before that, fast, fast backwards to 2014, and I saw Gojira open for Mastodon at the uh, Silver Legacy in Reno, Nevada. And I got to tell you, man, Gojira came out and just slayed the audience into the ground. We were just all decapitated with blood flowing everywhere. And I remember turning to my buddy Rich and saying like, I do not envy Mastodon right now. I would not want to follow up that performance because Gojira just killed it. They were tighter than I've ever heard a band play before. And my other buddy, Jason, I was like, Gojira, bro. He's like, yeah, they actually, like when I saw him in San Francisco a few months ago, they actually sounded a little bit tighter. And I'm like, what are you crazy? That sounded like a recording that you can't get tighter than that. Gojira. If you ever have the chance to see Gojira live, Mike, go do it. It will punish your vital organs. <laughs> it will punish your vital organs. Uh, buy your break, buy your break is Godzilla. Yeah. We're going to take a bio break right now. Santa's into metal. Santa's Santa's into metal. Oh, Gabe Claus. You're more of a folker. Yeah. I heard that about you folker. I heard you're into the folk, the, the folkiness. Speaking of bio break is Godzilla. I'll be right back. Oh, here. No, let's not do that. Let's do this one. I like this one more. I will be right back. chill vlog lounge here on the big grim green youtube channel uh what a great bio break all right uh i think we have a very random liquid tasting sortiel making your work day go by really fast i love that look anything i can do to help get you through your work day i'm all about it but what i would like to do literally literally <laughs> literally right now is do a very random liquid tasting 
Shirts off in the pit. Shirts off in the pit. We are here to very randomly taste the liquid. In fact, holy shit. I don't have anything re-wicked right now for this. Bad move. Bad move, Grim Green. Bad move. Okay, here's the thing. Let me wick something up real quick. <laughs> ah. And this. Let's wick up the uh, Kali V2. We'll put the Kali V2 on the My Vapes Clutch X18. Dual parallel box mod. Dual parallel. Parallel. Ugh. Gonna just gotta throw some wicks in here real quick because I got nothing. I can't believe I didn't have anything to taste. Man, I thought for sure I had everything dialed in. I'm like, this is good to go. This vlog's gonna be baller. You're good to go. I'm just gonna put some wicks in here. Shout out to QP Designs for the Kali V2 oh, RDA. It's a banger. Tis a banger. Um, all right, well, while I'm re-wicking this, I'm going to try to continue talking, which is going to be difficult, but that's okay. We have some uh, UK e-liquids tonight. So this is really, like I said, the only part of the vlog that's going to be UK-themed, I guess, is we have some liquids tonight from the Roch Rocheford Project. Is that, am I saying that? Rocheford Project? The Rocheford Project. Five years of e-liquid manufacturing in the UK. They are uh, serious about e-liquid. Made in made in England, handcrafted since 2016. In fact, when you open this packaging, it's the nicest e-liquid packaging I've ever come across. They got business cards and six stickers. And then they have, look at this. It's like a book. It's like the story of the company. Like, how these people got together and like their quit smoking story and how they've like crafted these e-liquids and changed the names and who added what to what. And it's just really cool. I like that. I really like that personal touch in the e-liquid. It makes me feel like, you know, it's the same thing that happens with coffee. Sometimes there's a certain like I don't know, romance to coffee. It's like it's when people go to Hawaii and they taste like the Kona coffee on the shores of Oahu. And it's this romantic experience where you're, you know, you're experiencing the coffee and the origin country. And it's this beautiful, you know, thing. And it kind of, it creates more than just vape this liquid it creates more than just drink this coffee. It's like, it's a story. It's an experience. And I feel like the Rocheford project or the Rocheford project is is accomplishing that. And I really, really like that. I want to know the story behind your liquids. You know, I want to know why they are the way that they are. I want to know who mixed them. I want to know, you know, your feelings and your thoughts and your flavor notes on these liquids. And that's, uh, I feel like the Rocheford, Rocheford, am I saying that wrong? I almost wanted to pronounce it in a French sort of accent, like Rochefort, the Rochefort project, the Rochefort, but I don't think that's it. I don't think that's correct. Shout out to QP Design for making the Kali V2 like the easiest fucking RDA to wick in the history of RDAs because that's wicked. So the th I have three bottles of the Rochefort project here that we are going to have to vote to decide what gets vaped. And I even have a bottle of uh, nicotine because these are short fills. But we got three bottles from the Ro Rochefort project. The first one, whoa, vote for this one. Black currant grape. Are you kidding me? Jam tart and lemon curd. So you're going to vote right now for lemon, jam, or black currant. Lemon, jam, black currant. Lemon, Jam tart, black currant. I will be fine trying literally any of these. Please vote now. Lemon curd, jam tart, blackberry, black currant. Sorry, black currant. 
lemon curd jam tart black currant lemon jerry lemon <laughs> lemon curd jam tart please vote now i will only decide after i see your uh are they, are they named things? Providence? Is that what they're called? Providence? Most curious, the black vine and crimson seed. Oh, okay. Well, let's keep voting. Uh, jam, lemon, lemon, lemon. Oh, lemon's coming out strong. Lemon's coming out strong. Holy crap. Jam tart, jam tart, black currant, black currant, black currant, black currant. Lemon is coming in strong. Black Current Jubbies is coming in strong, even though it's not even in this. Okay, whoa, Black Current. Slow down, Black Current. All right, Black Current. Whoa, Black Current might win this. Black Current might win this. Jam, jam. Black. I think Jubbies is going to win this. Okay, Black Current. Holy shit. Black Current. Black Current, I think, is going to win this, you guys. Ah, oh, Black Current. So this is called the Black Vine. The black vine? Yeah, the black vine. Black current. Appreciate you voting. Appreciate you voting. I'm gonna keep uh I'm gonna keep the tart for the next vlog. It's gonna go back into the lineup. I'm excited about this uh black current. Appreciate you guys voting there. Appreciate you guys voting for sure. Black current. Here's the thing. This is one of those, this is one of the things that I think really sort of I don't know. I feel like a, a really black current, black current one for sure. Black current one hard. So I'm going to put some nicotine in this, but this is one of those things that I feel a little bit, you know, connected to the United Kingdom because I, I grew up having a very fondness of the United Kingdom simply because of my mom. My mom was a huge fan of London, England, the UK, Scotland, Ireland, like all of that stuff. She would go on vacations to the United Kingdom constantly. We would look at slideshows of her trips to the United Kingdom constantly. I grew up watching like Ab Fab and Faulty Towers and, you know, Monty Python and the Flying Circus and the Life of Brian and all these British comedy shows. And I grew up going to the Scottish Highland Games in Santa Rosa, California, where there was, you know, bangers and meat pies and all sorts of like British sweets. And that's how I discovered like Jamie Dodgers and Turkish Delights and Black Currant and like Maynard's Wine Gums. And I love a lot of those like UK British like Black Currant flavors and like proper English breakfast. I just feel like a real kinship to the United Kingdom because I kind of grew up with it. My mom, my mom, it's all her fault. We vape, we vote. That's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, Ab Fab, are you kidding me? Faulty Towers is, I think, Faulty Towers is one of the greatest shows that has ever been on television ever. Ever. John Cleese is comedic genius. What's up, Marcus? How are you doing over there in Sweden? Yeah, Black Adder. Oh, Black Adder. Black Adder's hilarious. Uh, I haven't finished all your DIY. I still have some, Moharno. I found, uh, I was missing a few bottles of it, but I found them, along with some Addy Tooney liquids, which we're going to get going in the very random liquid tasting. Sorry, I'm just mixing this up because I want it to be proper mixed. Proper mixed, three milligram. Let me have a knuckle test here. Oh my God, black currant and grape. I've been missing black currant flavors. For a long time, there was a liquid. There was a black currant based liquid called Mai that I I would have vaped this liquid for the rest of my life. It was my all day banger. I kind of loved Mai more than I loved Pony on Acid. But unfortunately, Mai isn't a thing, so I don't get to vape it anymore. In fact, it hasn't been a thing for a while. I won't get into the details of Mai, but I loved the ever I would have vaped this juice for the rest of my life type of liquid. And it was a black currant gummy kind of based on those Maynard wine gums, those really hard gummies that you know that you get. I love those things. I love the crap out of those things. And I'm hoping to get that like black currant flavor from this liquid. I don't know if this is the correct resistance for a single or for a for a Mac. But let's find out.
All right. Uh, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take one poll on this right now. We'll come back. We'll talk about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm just gonna sit back. I'm gonna vape with this for a second. We'll come back and talk about it. So the first thing that's gonna happen is this. Yeah. Yeah, Rushford Project. Yeah. Um, I'm really into this liquid right now. Really into this liquid right now. I wish I hadn't gotten my expectations up thinking about Mayi because it's not a Mayi type of flavor. This is one of those liquids where I, I, I'm comparing this liquid to like, like Frank and Atticus e-liquids. Just, and I hate, I, I don't want to, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to create like this, uh, premium versus bargain e-liquid kind of thing, but there is definitely a grade of quality to e-liquids throughout various vendors. And I feel like this e-liquid, and I get the same vibe from like Atticus and Finch e-liquid where it's it's a very complex e-liquid. I've had some juices where you go, oh, there's probably two flavors in this, you know? It's like apple peach, pretty good, not much to it, apple peach. This is a really complex flavor. And I feel like this is a company that doesn't necessarily just mix black currant and grape and call it a juice. This is a company that uses alternate flavors to sort of create the illusion of flavors. So I feel like there's peach and pineapple in this because I kind of like picked them out, but overall it tastes like black currant grape. They tricked your tongue into thinking that this is blackcurrant grape. I don't know that there's actually grape in this. I don't get like a grape flavor, but I get like the essence of grape, like what makes up a grape flavor and feeling in your mouth. That's kind of what I get out of this. It's a very, very cohesive flavor in that I can't pick out the blackcurrant from the grape. It's like you just mashed it all together and that's what you're vaping. It's a very cohesive blackcurrant grape not too sweet. It's sweet enough, but man, it's, it's well below my sweetness tolerance fence. I would actually like to try this at a little bit higher of a wattage, I think, but it's bright. It's sparkly. There's some deep, like black currant, deep grape notes to it. But overall, it's got a very summery sort of refreshing feel to it without any culotta, without any menthol or anything like that. It's just 
bright flavors and deep flavors create this really complex, like really nicely rounded, sweet, like black currant grape cohesive flavor. That's the only way I can think to describe this. I feel like I taste peach. I feel like I taste pineapple. I see you there smoking steam. You get a dash of cream. I don't get a dash of cream, but it does have a creamy component to it. Like the way that I picture creaminess in my head with e-liquids is in my mind's eye, I always picture the e-liquid. And I know this is a weird thing, but I'll do an example of pony on acid. When I vape pony on acid in my head, I picture that clear glaze of strawberry jelly that's on top of like a strawberry pie. Not the strawberries, not the pie, not the cream, not the crust, just the glaze. Like I took my spoon and scraped all the glaze off of the top of a strawberry pie and just ate it. That's what pony on acid tastes like to me. And I picture that in my head when I'm vaping it. With this liquid, I don't picture a clear, like a clear jelly of black currant. I picture a cloudy, like almost like how yogurt looks, like a cloudy, creamy black currant in my head, like a cloudy, creamy black currant sort of jelly in my head. Too weird, too weird of a tasting. I, sorry, that's just the way my brain works. Yeah, creamy, black currant, grapey. I can still pick out like little like, Sometimes I feel like there's a little bit peach, but then that, that peach kind of turns into the grape. You know, it's like maybe the peach is just there for that like tartness from a grape, but you're not meant to taste the peach. You're just meant to taste the tartness, you know? Flavors and playing tricks on your brain is, is one of my favorite things. And this is a really good liquid, really stellar liquid, really good. Shout out Rochford Project. Later on, Sunstone. Walk the hound, grab some noodles. Rocheford Project for the win. In fact, right now, just because we're not doing too terrible on time, I wanna put this on something like the Aegis Legend 2, ah, where I can maybe put some more wattage through it. The parallel, it's fine, but I feel like the resistance on this, yeah, it's a point two. It's a point two. It's a point two. How did I know? Let's try 80 watts. Let me make sure this is this is juiced and let's try this at 80 watts. Point two on a max, fine. It's just not ideal for me. I like a little bit more, you know, a huh, little kick in the butt, a little kick in the pants there. There it is. Better, higher wattage. Some of those sparkling top notes are coming out a little bit better. It still has, it's such a complex liquid. It's still got this really beefy, like strong, heavy mouthfeel of black currant. It just feels heavy, but you also, like the top notes are so sparkling and refreshing on it. Man, this is a good liquid. Man, this is a good liquid. Absolutely, Soft Arno. Absolutely. If you guys are here right now, just hit that like button. It would really put a smile on my face. Not as much as the guitar. Not a lot's going to put as much of a smile on my face as getting a custom guitar from one of my subscribers. Like that just means a lot to me. I can't, I can't overstress that when I've been, I've been doing some vape trades lately and I've been trading for stuff that's not vape related. I'm like, bro, literally anything you have, I just want something that's personal. That's like from you. That's a subs, you know, you're my subscriber and I want something from you that's personal. It can be a little thing I can just put in my office, like a pin, a patch, a hat, a something just want a little thing, you know, and having this from someone who's been watching me since what, 2016, what did you say? That's crazy to me. And it just, I don't know, it really, it's really hitting me in my feels. I was not prepared for a field trip right now. Not prepared for a field trip. Let's see what the rest of these super chats got going on. I'm not sure. Where did the super chats even end up? 
Hey, there they are. All right, you guys. Well, we're winding down here. We're winding down. Uh, Derek R. Jubbies 2024. You know what, Derek? One of these days, we're going to get some damn jubbies back on this damn hell ass vlog. And we're going to vape some GD damn hell ass boobs crap hell ass jubbies. <laughs> you know? It's going to happen. We're going to have the Jubby special vlog. It'll just be all Jubbies. It'll just be the random liquid tasting for two hours. And every single time I just vape Jubbies over and over and over again. I'm planning that for a vlog and there's literally, you can't stop me. Mike, uh, it's very gracious of you. Got to see them live with Trivium. Both bands killed it. Next live show is Megadeth, Lamb of God, Trivium, and In Flames. What the hell, bro? Can I come? Mike, Mike, I'm coming. I'm going to that show with you. <laughs> I've never got to see Megadeth and Megadeth. Look, Megadeth used to be one of my favorite bands of all time. Dave Mustaine. Yeah, look, he's fine. He got a little. I Here's the unfortunate part about music. I liked Megadeth more when Dave Mustaine was doing drugs. I don't like sober Dave Mustaine. <laughs> I don't like sober, super like saved Christian Dave Mustaine anymore. I liked it when he was doing drugs and singing about aliens. I like old Megadeth. I like Lamb of God okay. Lamb of God is eternally the metal band that I just constantly make fun of because I'm like, who fucking loves Lamb of God? Nobody likes Lamb of God. Until, until I discovered that the singer of Lamb of God, Randy Blythe, he, he quit smoking with vaping. Yeah, he quit smoking with vaping, dude. He emailed me because I made fun of him on grimgreen.com. I, I was making fun of uh, Lamb of God <laughs> and he sent me an email uh, and was kind of like offended a little bit, I think. But then we kind of worked it out. And uh, there was a time in Oakland, I was supposed to go down when I was living in, in Carson. I was supposed to go down to see Lamb of God and meet Randy at a show in Oakland. And I just didn't go. I couldn't get off work. And it upset me to no end. Um, but Randy was like, yeah, come down to Oakland. We're playing in, uh, you know, we're playing Lamb of God and all these bands are playing in Oakland. You should come. We can hang out. And I was like, oh, cool. And then I couldn't go. I couldn't get the time off work and it drove me insane. But yeah, Randy Blythe, you should like Lamb of God because Randy Blythe was a smoker and he quit with vaping. He used to rock an I taste 134. No shit. He used to. Trivium, I've never been into, but more for you and In Flames. In Flames is one of my favorite bands of all time. I got to brew beer with the drummer from In Flames in Sweden. That's what vaping, like, that is crazy to me. Who the fuck am I to deserve to be able to go to Sweden and brew beer with the drummer of In Flames? Even being there, I thought, I don't deserve to be here. <laughs> I don't deserve to be here, dude. I'm a barely high school graduate. All I did was quit smoking with vaping. That's it. And I tried to get as many people as I could to do it too. <laughs> But have fun at that fucking show, Mike. That's it. That's going to be an amazing show. And you know it is. If they play Hangar 18, scream extra loud for me. Scream at Dave Mustaine. Got one last super chat here before we wrap this up from Mr. Vape and Jedi. Pickle told me to give you... <laughs> Pickle told me to give you a few bucks. Hey, look, I appreciate that. You know, we had some unexpected expenses. You know, we don't live like some crazy, luxurious, lavish lifestyle. You know, um, I drive a Toyota and uh, we had to get an air conditioner for our bedroom. And it was like, fuck, we're in the middle of a heat wave in the valley. We can't afford an air conditioner right now. We had to pop. We had to get an air conditioner because I can't sleep. I can't sleep in the molten hot lava of the San Fernando Valley without an air conditioner. So I appreciate that $2.99. That's going to go back into replenishing the possible future like home improvement things that need to happen because that fund has been depleted again because of the air conditioner. But I'll have you guys know this split air conditioner we installed. It's so quiet, keeps it so cool. I've been sleeping awesome the last few nights. Don't forget about smackingnudesact.nl. Don't forget about smackingnudesack.nl if you're in the, in, the, in the Netherlands. Actually, do you guys want to run a little bit longer? Do you guys want to do like 15 more minutes? Let's just do it. Let's just do 15 more minutes because I have some uh, of... Hang on. I forgot something. We're going to wrap this up with... Uh... <gasps> so this isn't necessarily favorite comments of the week, but it is some uh, favorite things that I saw that happened on the internet. Uh, 
Uh, burp life that happened on the internet. In fact, I'm going to use this opportunity to pimp out my own merch store. Look at uh, looks at look at Dixon Ciderbush here. Do you want to look as cool as Dixon Ciderbush? Look at that Grim Army mask that you don't need anymore. Look at that Grim Army snapback hat. What is that? A hoodie? X Smoker T-shirt? Look at that in his order. He got what is that? A free enamel pin? Holy shit! What is that? Fr some free Grim Army beer koozies in there? That's right. You can head over to Grim Army Merch, GrimGreenMerch.com, and get a whole bunch of merch if you want to. Got new designs coming very soon. Beer glasses are going to be restocked very soon. Those sold out real quickly, but uh, I'll have a link down in the description. Um, some more favorite comments of the week. I, let Josh. This is Josh. What up, Josh? I want to. I want to spend some time right now embarrassing Josh a little bit. But Josh sent me an email and a picture. He said. Uh, Here's me and my only bud here watching the replay. Been vaping for five years, smoke-free for more. Thankfully, I found people like you to help me through my journey. Life is in limbo, but at least I got my pup Kaylee in a damn good vlog every week. Keep on vaping, my guy. Hopefully, I'll get that much-deserved handshake for literally always making it to the end one day. Have a kick-ass vlog. I'll be watching. Bro! Thank you, Josh. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to Kaylee for watching the vlog. Look at that. I love, I love pictures of dogs watching my vlog. I've, I've had a few pictures of dogs watching my vlog. Uh, let's see. What else do we got in the comment world? Okay. What the hell is this? I don't know what the hell's going on. What, what the hell is this? We got face meat. He leaves dry oatmeal on every video I've ever uploaded and every live stream I've ever uploaded. We got Samo here who just leaves a period on every video I've uploaded and every live stream I've uploaded. And then we got Sunstone Custom Knives here who just took off. He's just been leaving cookies, just a cookie on my videos and a cookie on all my live streams. Is this like a thing? Is this like a trend on YouTube where you just, you, you just say like face meats just been saying dry oatmeal for literally a year. I've been trying to get face meat to say anything else other than dry oatmeal. I know he's into old punk. I was like, Hey, I saw sick of it all. Are you into sick of it all? No reply. Or what about dead Kennedy's? Are you into dead Kennedy's? I know you're into dead Kennedy's face meat. No reply. Just dry oatmeal. Sam always leaves a period and Sunstone's been leaving a cookie. What is this? What was this a trend in, in YouTube? I don't get it. I don't get it. Sam Sunstone face meat. Just say something else. Let me know that you're a human. Let me know that you're alive. I got a PSA from uh, Ethan here as well. He posted this in the Grim Army Facebook group. He says, if you're using the Saga, anybody out there using the Saga, here's your PSA. Please turn the mod upside down when you're opening that battery door. He says, I usually let my batteries fly out, but the prongs on the door fell in between the positive and negative of my battery, causing a hard short. I was lucky this time, but please be careful. I've never used the saga. Haven't used the saga. What up beasts reviews. But if you are using the saga, be careful. Just be careful. That's a PSA from Ethan. You guys can join that grim army Facebook group. It's a private group. It's a private group, but uh, I'll let anybody in. I'll let anybody in. I saw Renee here earlier today. Where are you at Renee? I'm going to, this is your face, bro. Re Re he sent me an email. Renee sent me an email. He said, uh, Seeing the vlog last night brought back some memories. Back in 2012, I started building K funds, Ithaca's Genesis type Addies. But mostly, he says, I tried to build everything that was not meant to be rebuilt. So inspired from your retro vape, I browsed my old picture folder and found my documentation for the Ego C coils that were also used in the E cab and E roll. Just think back to what lengths we went through back in the day to get a decent vape. So true. He says, thanks for being part of the journey all these years. You were there when I started in 2010 and you were there every time I came back for more than a decade. I was a dual user going back and forth, never really getting away from SIGs for more than a couple weeks. Now, after a decade, I'm finally closing in on my one year without any cigarettes. The week before Easter 2020, I smoked my last cigarette. Thanks to people like you, Scott, although he doesn't make reviews anymore, and Philip Basardo. I had the stamina to stick with vaping. I hope you get a giggle out of these pics. So there's Renee. And then, yep, look at that weird ass little build on the, on the Joytech E Roll E Cab. We went to great lengths. <laughs> great lengths. 
<laughs> Look at that weird ass little build. Well, damn it, Renee, here's your face one more time for everybody to see. Renee just celebrated his one year. One year after, here's the thing, dual using for a decade. Dual using for a decade. Stanton Glance would have preferred that he just smoked cigarettes. But I believe in the importance of dual using, and I think you should dual use as long as you need to before you can finally make that transition. It's not the same. It's not the same for everybody. Um, which one's this one? Oh, this is an amazing picture. Okay, so Facebook reminded me of this picture, and I want to give a shout out to this dude because he took the perfect picture. This is this is the perfect picture. <laughs> This dude, Matt, took a picture of his car with my sticker on it in front of Grimm's Road. And I don't even know where this is. This is from back in 2014, Facebook reminded me of this. But I used to make those Sub Ohms sticker that looked like, you know, Subway. I thought it was real cool. I was like, oh, that looks like the Subway logo, but it says Sub Ohms. I'm so cool. We did hats. We did shirts. We did stickers. Grimm's Road. I don't know. I just think that's cool. So shout out to Matt Abram. Uh, maybe you watch my videos still. Maybe you don't, but I still very much appreciate that picture, bro. Um, speaking of pictures that I appreciate, Michael, Michael, same thing. Way back in 2016, Facebook reminded me of this. Yes, Michael, Michael, Michael. Grim Ruby Clouds. Just picture of picture of Michael vaping just says old man clouds. God, I love this more than I've loved a lot of things. We need more old man clouds. We need to show people like Raja Krishnamurthy and Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids that it's Michael that's vaping. It's Michael whose life is being directly impacted by your legislation. It's Michael that has decided to improve his quality of life overall and switch to the less harmful alternative of vaping. We need more old people vaping and less... Young people vape. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's maybe I'm not a good uh <laughs> maybe I'm not a good ambassador for vaping. What with the throat tattoos and the Rodan t-shirt and that. What we need is more Michaels. Old man clouds. Shout out to everybody, everybody that's rocking the old man clouds, especially Michael. Last thing. Okay, this is the last thing, and this is the this thing put a smile on my face like nobody has ever seen before. Sean Jones sent this over to me. And if you guys know me, you know one of my favorite movies of all time is this big movie poster right back here. It's just called Rad. Epic. Legendary, legendary movie. Legendary movie. I hold this movie up there, as you can see, right next to it. Return of the Jedi, right next to it. Star Wars. I hold Rad up in that, like, this is, this is just my favorite fucking movie, one of my favorite fucking movies of all time. It's like Star Wars, Rad, that's it. That's all I care about. Star Wars, Rad. Oh, Mitchell. Was that name? Was his name Mitchell? All right, Mitchell. <laughs> Sorry, Mitchell. Mitchell's old man clouds. Sean Jones sent this over to me. Look at Sean Jones' new tattoos. What? That's the coolest shit I have ever seen. Crew rad bicycle. Even he's even got the stars on there from Cruz, like rad racing jersey with the half, you know, it's like the stars that are that fade white to red. Crew rad bicycle, red stars. I love this. This is one of the first and only badass, like rad tattoos I've ever seen. And it kind of was like making me think, what should I get across my knuckles? Should I get Star Wars or Crew Jones? Something from Rad? Something from Star Wars? I don't know. So Gojira? Just Gojira tattooed across my knuckles? I have no idea. But shout out to Sean Effing Jones for those tattoos. That's rad as hell. I hope you didn't do that just for me. I hope you did that because you love Rad. Because everybody should love Rad. All right, you guys. Well, shit. This is it. I kind of almost hate to say goodbye. Let me take uh, let me take a quick look around the room. Guitar still there? Oh, baby. I just keep touching it, you know? I want to tune this up. I really want to play this right now. New Wave Dave, we definitely count as old. We definitely count as old. My waters are almost empty. 
Waters are empty, beer is empty, coffee remains. That's okay, I'll need it to get through the rest of the day. Mess everywhere, mess everywhere. But I have some Duchess coils, I got some dope RDAs, I got a Stormtrooper clutch button from TT Vape, and Scott, Scott, you son of a bitch, you gave me a guitar. Well, this just, and an Aglios. Can't forget about the UL Aglios. Scott, if I learn, if I start playing guitar more and more and more, we'll do some jamming on the vlog. Look, we'll play something. I would like to like play an old uplifted song. I'd still like to practice my death metal vocals because I think it would be pretty fun. And I'd like to play something on this stream. I am your monkey. I will dance for you. So I think that's literally it. You guys, we're literally done with the vlog now. We didn't get to fit in. Uh, I'll have to change the title. I'll have to change the title, but we didn't get to that broadside. Don't worry. We'll get to that broadside at, uh, we'll get to that broadside at some point, but here's where we end the vlog. And here's what I'm going to say. This is like Jerry Springer's final thoughts right here. Here's what I'm going to say. Grim Green's final thoughts. Thank you. I mean, truly and honestly, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for being part of the, being part of the community. Thank you guys for, for being down for the cause. Thank you guys for defending vaping. I know you guys defend vaping and I see it. I see it on Twitter. I see it all over the place. I see it on Facebook. I see it in Facebook groups. I see it on Twitter. I see it on YouTube. I see it on Instagram. You defend vaping and I really, really appreciate that. I think that every smoker should get to quit the way that we got to quit. Literally the best, most effortless, enjoyable, flavorful way possible. And so let's keep vaping. Let's keep defending vaping. And let's just keep being the awesome community that we're known for and being that like welcoming community. I see some new names in the chat and that just makes me so fucking happy. I hope you guys stick around, man. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have no plan B. I am, I live, breathe, eat and sleep and live and sleep and fuck vaping. Literally, I make sweet, sweet love into vaping. It's my life. I'm going to die on this hill. I will not stop until vaping is safe, legal, and accessible for literally every adult smoker in the world. And so in the meantime, I'm going to keep helping smokers quit. I'm going to keep helping vapors vape. And now, thanks to Scott, we're going to start playing some mother trucking guitar. So big love from me to all of you guys. Don't forget about smacking nude Zach Don NL. Thunderdome. I see you there, Thunderdome in the Netherlands. Support vaping in the Netherlands. Support vaping in the Philippines. Support vaping in the UK. Support vaping in Europe, Sweden, Norway, uh, uh, all the uh, the uh, Kuwait. You know, everywhere in the United States of America and Canada, smokers should get to quit. Vaping's going to save a billion lives, and flavors are going to help it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you tremendously again from the bottom of my heart, you guys. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap this up. Huge shout out to my UK vape fam. I uh, hope this was a convenient and fun vlog for you. Next week, we'll get back on track. So you'll be staying up till midnight again <laughs> for the vlog. But uh, look, you guys, I had a lot of fun today. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I appreciate you coming to hang out. And uh, don't forget, shout out Yo Yo, all my Yo Yo Cool Kids Club patrons. Uh, very shortly, within the hour, I'm going to jump in that Zoom. We're just going to be zooming basically all day long. We're just going to be chilling, eating lunch, have some beers. I might do some building. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'm not ashamed to say that. I love you guys, and I love vaping. Thank you for being here. Much love. Be excellent to each other. Remember that vaping rules and smoking sucks butts. Sucks butts. <laughs> so no matter what's in your hand, you guys, let's keep on vaping. Be excellent to each other. Cheers. Peace.